motivation to quit under a nicotine reduction policy. No, that's a bit of a problem. Someone who specializes in helping people kick the habit is Dr. Colin Mendelson. He joins me now. Look, vaping is a far less harmful alternative to smoking for adult smokers who just can't quit, and that's actually the majority of them. The road to quitting smoking is paved with candy. Paved with candy. Double chocolate clear from TFA. Double chocolate clear from TFA. Published in the Vaping Post, we have long-term study. Long-term study. Vaping increases odds of quitting heavy smoking. This is Kenny Thompson, the Vaping Heed. He's got a YouTube channel. He's been on here a lot longer than I have. I'm not going to stop until this is legal and available for everyone. You know, I cover things from all around the globe, but that's because science has no boundaries. I mean, you know, the FDA and everything, we would know that they're going to say for them smoking, but we'll have the pressure off the tobacco companies or the, the, you know, the, the states that are in the MSC and all that. It's just a financial thing, and it's, and it would Unfortunately, that, that takes precedence against everything. And All of the things we went through. You just made my day. Just made my day. You made my day. Grab your juice, grab your vape, it's time to get this party started. It's time for the mix it and chillin' blocks. Long-term long study. Be having to see it for the smoking. Smoke free world. Smoke free world. Dangle clacks galore! Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Time for another episode of Mixing and Chilling with Hunky Vape and Kenny the Vape and Heed. Hello! Hope you all doing hey. well. Hey! And welcome. We got perfect audio. That was the goal this week. I spent the entire last week trying to get the audio nailed down so everything worked perfectly. I know. There's no need to thank us. You know, I'm fine. <laughs> you don't know the struggles i went through to get it working because well i've got these beautiful new microphones sitting in front of me and i've got another one sitting over there so that when i turn that way i don't have to move this one this one just stays here that one just stays there and well see the problem was last week it was clicking going on in the background that's because my dbx 286 was dying Oh, Jesus. I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. I clicked go live in OBS and I'm like sitting here chatting with that Kenny going, okay, now check this out. When this happens, this will do this. And he's like, oh yeah, that works good. And then I'm like, we're not, we're, we're not live. What the heck? So I clicked inside of Chrome, go live, go live, go live. It didn't go live. So I had to click inside of OBS again, go live, and then it went live. <sighs> but hey, we're here. We're here, boys and girls. So you you guys, the cameras weren't working for our over for our lovely um, display that we have for our featured item. So I had to go into studio mode and fix that while we were supposedly live and there we have a beautiful <laughs> Afro Raptor. And Kenny's like, did you set a, find a set of coils for that? I'm like, um, it comes with coils. He's like, not that one. <laughs> I said it to you, he doesn't have coils. I'm like, I will find a set of coils for that. That was the nice thing back in the day when you, when these retro vapes came out, everybody was trying to be like smock, right? Not necessarily as in here, here's some shitty coils for you, but as in, our good coils will fit in your shitty smock tank. So why don't you buy our coils instead of smock coils? So yeah. I'm betting that the smock coils are going to fit inside there. We'll find out when we get to our retro vape. If it doesn't, well, maybe we'll finally get around to um, putting wicking into this lovely oh. doom that's been sitting no, here no, ever since we had that comment. What was that? Six months ago. <laughs> So, and I've also got another tragedy. I don't know if you guys happen to notice it. I don't know if I was live when I showed this or not, but my Arbiter bit the dust. The glass is busted. 
And I tell people all the time, I try to tell people all the time in my reviews when I do a rebuildable, when you order a rebuildable, like, you know, when I did for the Osiris, order a spare glass. When you place the order for it, spend the extra $2 and get yourself a spare glass. Because if you like the thing and it breaks, and it's a year down the road or six months down the road sometimes, these are no longer available. I know. I've done that with my Kylan 3. Didn't have a two minutes, I broke a bloody bubble glass. <laughs> so that's something I always try to tell everybody. I'm like, listen, if you're going to pay the money, you're going to spend 30 bucks on a rebuildable tank, spend an extra two and get yourself a spare glass. So I got my box of it, spare it, parts. We're going to have a little adventure today to try and dig through that box to hopefully find a spare glass for that Arbiter so it doesn't have to just sit on the shelf naked. No glass. Must be some way you can get them, surely to God. Must be somebody somewhere looked, still selling them. I looked online, mate. There's nobody that has them. You can get it for the Arbiter 2. You can get it for the Arbiter Solo, but not for the original Arbiter. Now, I know there are some vape shops that they bought. I don't remember where they got them from. The one lady told me where she gets hers from. She's got some variable variations of bubble glass that's available out there the only place um was it viking customs sells yeah. acrylic replacements for it but i believe they're in south africa so even if i did order it from them it would take me what three months to get it sorry mate i'm here i'm just like sorry to disappoint you but I am so sorry to disappoint you, but my first bloody page I looked at. You found one them. A, what the one, one over the glass. Where's that at? There you go. That is on. I'm going this fucking in the UK. Off. Yeah, flawlessdeepshop.co.uk. There you go. One ninety nine. I mean, I'm gonna. <laughs> have to have you order me some of them and then next time we send each other a package throw it in the box because there's none available here in the states just, that i found i'll just copy and paste the link for you just in case just so you can double check please I'll do send it over to you yeah because what's it going to be to post it to your address from the uk five pounds maybe Fucking out yeah, where if I were to send it directly to me, I'd be, you know, spending, even if I bought 10 of them, okay? Let's say I bought 10 of them for 20. Um, I'm going to spend, what, 50 to send to ship it to me, 40 to ship it to me? We'll figure something out. Clear, we'll do a nice little barter and get, we'll it, get, get it situated. Because there, there's none That's to be bad. found here in the States. I knew the UQ would have some. Uh, the hot do. <laughs> I am so grateful that they still have them out there because a lot of the stuff that I've tried, you know, and, and had that's happened before, I can't find a replacement anywhere to save my life. Which is a sad reality because the other reason I was so distraught this past week, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Mark and Bernie are done. They're closing up shop. Oh, man. I saw that on, on Twitter and he even turned off comments to his post because he didn't want to hear it. I feel bad for the guy. I mean, he was one of the most active shop owner advocates that I've ever come across in the past three years. He's constantly going to the state legislature, testifying, not just his, but neighboring states as well. He's always posting success stories on Twitter. Oh, look, here's the next smoker that uh, came into my shop. You know, he's coming in from out of town and um, I stayed open late so that I could give him whatever he needed. No more stories about how he helped another ex-smoker out. What the hell? You just keep losing them left and right. I don't... I <sighs> 
turns my stomach. Go, haven't we done enough advocacy? Is, is that the stop. issue? We don't have enough advocates out there telling our personal stories on how this is what gets us to never smoke a cigarette again? What's it going to take? Very bad. It's going to be take this man. And as if things aren't bad enough on our news section. Now we have a big tobacco exec from British American Tobacco who's saying this disposable ban's not going to work. Oh, yeah. Look. I've seen that one. It's on the BBC. And there's another story on the BBC about some podcaster, yeah. you know, looking into vaping. The same, the same thing we did. When I first wanted to look into vaping to quit smoking, I'm like, I better look into this. Is, is this going to kill me if I use this stuff? Or am I better off smoking cigarettes or what? So we'll see what that article says. And for the conspiracy nut jobs out there, you're not nuts. If during the past couple of years, YouTube in their infinite wisdom of their algorithm fed you certain videos that it's on this platform and you were stupid enough to actually listen to YouTube suggestion and watch it. Well, your name got put on a list. And all of your search history and browser history and stuff got sent to people because you're on a list. I mean, what the hell kind of world are we living in? Kenny's lost. What are you doing, mate? You placing an order or what? I don't know. I'm just I'm placing an order for these, but this bloody payment thing. You've got to you've got to scan a QR code, eh? I don't understand. That's getting ridiculous too. We uh -huh. made a funny joke about it last week about, you know, I wanted to pay my mortgage and they were like, wanted a DNA sample so before I could pay my mortgage. I'm like, do you have people that want to go and pay my mortgage? And if so, why are you stopping them? Let them pay it. I don't understand how to pay I'm not trying to like no, renegotiate the terms of my mortgage. I'm just trying to make a payment. I know. What? I don't know. I don't Is it? It's something to do with super. I don't know. I don't know what you do. Fuck that. I just have to get another one. I'll sort out another one, maybe. But they're there. Yeah. There's plenty there. There's Let's plenty jump into my microphone story because I have a poll question that I want to ask you guys. So let's watch the video and answer the poll question. And let's just jump to it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hunky Vape. I'm your host, DJ Alex. And today we're doing another audio recording. Yes, we have a recording going on because uh, we had a bunch of audio issues during the live stream and it's just unacceptable. From this point forward, there will no longer be any audio issues if there's anything I could possibly do to prevent it from happening again. So, Old Faithful proved to be not so faithful. I thought it was perhaps the uh, microphone booster because, um, you know, I swapped it out to try it on this one and then I put it back there. And it could be the fact that I pulled the cable out and now it's up against a 110 line and maybe there's some interference in there. So I ordered a brand new set of cables. It'll be here tomorrow. So there's going to be brand new microphone cables. It's unacceptable. For me to be still using these old DJing cables that have been beat to heck and back. So it's getting fixed. Okay. That's number one. Number two, this microphone right here, I paid a boatload of money to get the best microphone possible. However, it's a power hungry thing. And even with this, my brand new audio interface that I have right here isn't enough to drive it to an acceptable level. It can drive it, but there's a bunch of noise and hiss in the background. So that's done. It's gone. I resurrected the original mixer board that I got started on YouTube with. It's not being used as an audio interface. It's strictly being used as a mixer because the the gain that is possible 
on the preamps inside that device is unsurpassed out of anything I've ever tried. So, being an audio file, I know gain staging is the easiest way to get the perfect crystal clear audio. So this microphone, even though I've got a new cable coming for that, well, that microphone is getting pushed off to the side because you're now listening to this microphone. And this microphone, I had this beautiful preset set up for the live stream. And because I was told that this audio was crackling and there was some hiss and stuff in the background, I switched off of the scene so you couldn't hear it anymore. It was gone. Cut. Kaput. It's unacceptable for me to put out crappy audio. Okay. So we used that one. And that one proved to be the problem. Not this one. This one, from what I heard on the replay, actually sounded pretty good. However, I know it doesn't sound like that one. So, me being me, I sat down and redid the presets because there's some filtration going on in the background. And, well, I mean, that's what you got to do. You, no microphone's going to make you sound like Shania Twain or Chris Stapleton or some other, you know, artist out there that you truly, you know, love. So, I'm using a plug-in. Yeah. So let's um, open this interface, and here's the beautiful plugin. And I've got all the processing taking place on there, and theoretically, if I'm looking at it, it's working exactly like it's supposed to. <laughs> and as you can see, my dog is snoring in the background. And it's at like minus 50, minus 55 decibels. So it's like it wouldn't even bother you if you heard it. You would think it's kind of cute, right? And I actually right? just put some on Kenny's. But that so wasn't good enough. Crunching anymore. No, no. That's not good enough. So what did I go and do? Well, I went and made myself a brand new preset. And now I've switched over to the brand new preset. And there you go. This is what it sounds like. Does it sound good? Do you like it? Is it what you want it to be? So there you go. There's your brand new preset. And it works beautifully. However, I know, I know, some of you out there. This is for Kenny. Think that, you know, it's not good enough. Some of you say, well, yeah, it, it sounds good, DJ Alex, but it doesn't sound like <laughs> your old microphone. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people where I hate change. And even though it might be an improvement, well, I don't like it. So, His exact words. What do you want? Did you say you wanted to sound exactly like the other one? Okay. Okay. Fine. That's what you want. If you want it to sound just like the other one, <laughs> there you go. Have a nice day. This one now sounds like this one. And I could switch back and forth between them. And if I switch back and forth between them, well, it should sound pretty much the same. Except for the fact that this one is way over here and not over here. So it's obviously going to sound a little different. But, I mean... That's the problem with that microphone. No matter where it was, it always made it sound different. That's why I got this one. Because this one, I can lean back and I can lean forward. And, well, it pretty much stays pretty much the same. Yeah, I know. If I get really far back, oh, I'm not even named at the microphone anymore. Because it's tilted too high up. But I don't want to do that. Because then plosives become a problem. Please bring pizza pronto. Right? And I know you could put it at 45 degrees offset, but that would look stupid on my desk. <laughs> Sorry. I'm passionate about making sure that the audio I put out for you guys 
Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds consistent. <laughs> Go ahead, Kenny. What Sam, happened anal. last stream and the stream before that? The stream before that is just. <laughs> Somebody took a spur and shoved it right up my face. Because I hated it. I almost <laughs> couldn't put the timestamps in the video because I thought it sounded that bad. Oh, <laughs> now, this is what this microphone sounds oh, like. Yes. And if you're not happy with it, well, now I've just turned all of it off. And... This is what the microphone sounds like. Naked. Completely oh, naked. <laughs> no sound effects whatsoever. Just coming into the system. Just processed. And there's a good chance I might clip it inside sound of OBS. Like it's not like it's standing outside. Really loud. <laughs> and the problem is when I lean back, well, then it gets really quiet. Because it's not processed. It's naked. This is what the naked microphone sounds like. <laughs> It's even worse Can on I headphones. Process it on the mixer? Sure. But they got me into a lot of problems when I first started making YouTube videos because I put the compressor on. And I put the compressor on, and, and it, ki it kills it a little bit, but it also raises the noise floor. And it's so easy to bump it when it's just sitting on your desk, and so your now desk is not 100% clean. the dog clean. snoring. Because the dog snoring is hitting minus 45 decibels. Minus 45 of the dog. See? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You hear? She's fast. And Kenny's oh, like, yeah. I don't care about minus 45 decibels. And she can when I fart, it's it. minus 45 She's decibels. louder than I do. <laughs> Although some nights my wife might disagree. She might say that we're having a contest. <laughs> but shh. We're not talking about that. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. So I could do a little boosting on the board. Do do hardware. That way, well, we're not relying on software to do the right thing. This is what everybody else like sounds that. like on YouTube. Make an adjustment. They plug their microphone in and they call it a day. And I can take it back. Mm. And... If you want to have a little bass and a little treble, because everybody likes the sweet sound of dark bass notes and the crystal clear. Da, 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 da. William Dobson. Of course. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that it was going to become an ASMR channel if I don't process the audio? You can hear me swallowing. That's what happens when you don't process audio. When you have headphones you don't on, set you can hear every little noise. Expander. Breath. To and lower the noise floor. All the, the saliva your in your mouth. So that, you know, the dynamic I'm range is I'm well. I'm definitely most honestly. It, it, and for me, it's got to be bad if I pick it up. <laughs> your traditional broadcast <laughs> I'm not saying that what I would. <laughs> this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> So I have plugins and I turn the plugins on and now you've got just there the bare go. essentials of back. the processing required to put out He's back, a show girls. and have consistent volume output. Yes, I know this is a little quieter than what it was before, but I can fix that easily. I, I just, I need to get the tone correct before I worry about volume. Volume's a simple, oh, let's measure the old one, let's measure the new one. Oh, we're two and a half decibels short, plus 0.25, done. It's all the other stuff that's so complicated and hard to do. But if you want it to sound like the original microphone, well, I uh, have it done now. There you go, TDR Nova. Did an EQ match between the two microphones. Now, granted, that one was already starting to go bad because when I did the recording for this lovely Xlim SQ pod, this is going to be the first well, video I have to do complete oh dialogue God, that over. Tastes wonderful. Post processing. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Because I didn't realize how bad that thing was. I didn't mean to day. ignore you. Um, that one was already giving me problems in the recording, and I might have to do a dialogue record over in order to finish editing the video for that lovely pod. But Freaking it delicious. is what it is. And this is what the audio sounds like. Or do you prefer the settings that I originally did where my goal wasn't to make it sound the same. My goal was to get rid of room resonance that I could pick up in my headphones and to make it sound less like a radio DJ and more like a YouTuber, content creator, just natural recording, natural sound. Because most people out there, to be honest with you, aren't using any of this. This is what their recording sound because they just plug it in and turn it on and bada bing, bada boom, we're done. And then they might do some EQing in post. And if they EQ it in post, that's what they're doing. Boost the bass, Guess boost the high. And this is what she sounds like. Have a nice day. I don't know about that. You got to have some compression. You got to have an expander to drop the noise floor. My goal isn't to get rid of it. But even when you properly set up a mixer going into an audio interface so that your noise floor, when the dog's not snoring, and the only thing that's in the room making sound is the computer fan, it's at minus 60. But when you compress it, you're raising it. So my goal was to keep it at 60. Even but you didn't know this was going to be an audio it. channel today. So I put the expander in, raised the volume Tech up. Tech here, guys. Put a compressor on there to make sure it never there peaks. It. And so that the volume stays it's, consistent, I have max volume in there. So you feature boys and girls that's adjusting called the volume up tech. and down, but you can't even tell. <laughs> because this Funky way I audio. whisper, and it's still pretty much the same volume. You know, put Bandrew's podcast really out of business. Or you can get really loud. And um, it still says about the same volume. I mean, you can tell that I was loud because the way that my intonation is different, but the actual volume doesn't blow your eardrums away. And that's a good thing. So I'll tell you a little secret. How do you folks. like it? You please to, tell me how you like it because here. I'm here to please you. <laughs> do you want it raw? Speaking of which, I need to check that. Because this is what it sounds like raw, unadulterated. Straight up from the interface into the thing. And if you want it even more raw, the EQ on the mixture is at zero, zero, zero. Zero bass, zero treble, zero mid range adjustment. Straight in, recorded from this microphone. Nothing applied to it. Process. I'm just trying to please everybody. This out is what there. she sounds like. And when I get loud, I'll clip in OBS. I did. It'll clip your ears. But we oh, can fix Jesus. that. That's easy to I clip. I told you. <laughs> it's easy to fix the clip. We just stop it all together. Throw a compressor on. And, well, when I, I throw a compressor on and I'm yelling, it's still not clipping in the mixer. And it's not clipping in the audio interface. And, well, it just works. And I can get it to sound exactly like the old microphone, if that's what you really want. But I honestly think, I might be wrong, but I honestly think that the that natural is. sound may be better. Or perhaps you like it better when the sound is fully processed and it is almost identical to what that one is. I can't make it 100% identical because the diaphragms are different. Matter of fact, I can't make it the same as in another brand new RE20. Because every single microphone has minor blemishes that are different through the manufacturing process. But this is what she sounds like. Fully processed. Fully edited, and have a nice day. 
There's your audio. Let me know. Do you like it? Fully processed? Minor processing? Or do you like it raw? Go vote. There's your choices. There's a poll question in the chat. I'll go answer the question. A, B, C, D. Chat. There's a poll question for you. Do you want it A, raw, B, minor processed, or C, sound just like the old one? Thank you. Very much appreciate it. Now I'm going to turn you back over to the live show. Just like that. Hey, just like that 15 minute dissertation on audio chains and microphones and what sounds better a b c d it's just what flavor of the week do you want we like this we like the good old good old i like the good old yeah alex but you know the good old alex it, it sounds good. <laughs> and by the way the the thing you're listening to right now is c so 44% of the chat says C, and that's what you're listening to now. Yeah, it sounds spot on. Perfect. Perfect beer. I know. I mean, human psychology teaches you that people don't like change, inherently don't like change. doesn't matter whether it's better or worse. They just don't like change because it means they got to actually go through a bunch of stuff and get used to a bunch of stuff. But Yeah, but sometimes when the change, sometimes you're not... It's 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 like a good old uh, a good old saying: if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, well, the problem is it is broke. The DBX two eighty six is starting to die, <laughs> so it's getting relegated to the desk behind me, and I will end up getting it fixed. And it will be used whenever we do builds, like coil builds, and get the lathe out, and all that other fancy yes. schmancy stuff. Yes. The whole reason why I built a second could, computer it could still be now, used. It'll still be used, but I've already got the audio chain completely set up and I can switch back and forth. Matter of fact, it's already set up automatically now that whenever I'm on this scene, we're this way, when I'm doing the overhead thing, it'll automatically switch over to the other microphone and Kenny hears the same thing you guys do. So if there's something wrong with it, you'll both hear the exact same thing and I can get instantaneous feedback and fix it right away. William's asking on the all natural. <laughs> was I stripping off naked yeah but that one got <laughs> bleeded out <laughs> and Mallory says you I don't the- care as long as it gets my news and advocacy done I'm a happy puppy well there you go see some people are alright with it man. But yeah. well that means it's time to roll the bumper for the news and advocacy section let's get into it Let's- And just like that, Google's answer to our question, show me some vape news, has more scare stories and fear-mongering than anything else. Just once, just once, I'd like to be able to see the top story on there is emphysema patient gets a reversal of his lifelong debilitating illness because of vaping. Is that too much to ask for? Seriously? 
Somebody's got to tell the truth once. <laughs> Come on. Just it's, once. It's, uh, please tell me the it's, truth. It's, it's, it's... Well, we sort of have the truth here. Our first article comes from BBC. Disposable bands will not work. Says Vape Boss. Nope. Who the hell's Vape Boss? <laughs> guess. Kenny, I want you to guess. Who Who's the Vape Boss? Well, it's got to be one of the big tobacco companies, hasn't it? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Tattoo Morocco, chief executive well, of British go. American Tobacco, also said raising the smoking age would have non-intended consequences. The government plans to outlaw disposable vapes next April as part of its biggest public health measure in decades. Bat is the UK's third largest vape seller. Seriously? Seriously, yeah. <laughs> Billy Lee Rice, hello and welcome. She stomped out that With idea. Good old Stanton glance is useful for some things. Sales of disposable vapes, which give a few hundred puffs of nicotine containing liquid before being thrown away instead of being recycled, have skyrocketed in recent years in Britain. Who the hell wrote this? A five year old? <laughs> have skyrocketed in recent years in Britain. You don't know what a thesaurus is? Have skyrocketed recently in Britain. Can we maybe have that? Do we not pay for editors anymore? Or is this all like bot created articles? Unbelievable. It's estimated hundreds of millions are now sold every year, many of them illegal. Aw, illegal because the nicotine content is 5% instead of 2%. And the more than 2 ml liquid content in the tank, so... Ooh. Oh, the consumer might want to, like, not have to buy one every fucking day of their life. Maybe they just want to buy one once a week. <laughs> Heaven forbid. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. The walls are falling amongst us. With all this logical thinking of consumers not wanting to spend a tenner every day for a freaking disposable, they'd rather spend 20 once a week. Got to put a law into effect to stop that kind of behavior. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. Last week, the government published the Tobacco and Vapes Bill, which will ban the sale of tobacco to anyone born from 2009 Ooh. onwards and bring on the spot fines for retailers caught selling to under 18s. Yeah, we covered that last week. What are they finding them? A hundred bucks. Yeah. hundred pounds. Meanwhile, if you don't put a no smoking sign up, you're going to pay a bigger fine. So they're more worried about having signage up than people actually doing the wrong thing. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I mean... 1984 world what do you expect heaven forbid that you know the laws actually match up with what the intended outcome is forget that but mr morocco said such a ban had not worked overseas in other countries this hasn't been effective he said in australia they've banned the whole category and made it prescription only and the amount of teenagers using the Illegal market is higher than it has ever been. The same is happening in Brazil. I kind of agree with him on that. I kind of agree with him on that point. That's the only good thing he said. Because prohibition <laughs> doesn't work. We learned yeah. that lesson in history. Do, do we need to repeat it? Well, of course we do, because they just banned it. I want to go to the sneak easies where you can go and get vapes and sit there and chat with the other vapors. I'll be next. Yeah. 
However, campaigners believe otherwise. Here we go. Deborah Arnott, she's the executive of the anti-smoking charity Action on Smoking and Health, said the ban on disposables can be made to work, but it requires tough enforcement, not just in shops, but at the border to prevent illegal imports. I'm sorry, Deborah, but you're wrong. It doesn't work for cocaine. Why is it going to work for vaping disposables? Please tell me I'm wrong. Anybody? Well, in that case, can I just add to this little thing here? Of course, just, mate. Just, just, just on this thing, right? On the uh, the the smuggling and all that shit. On the same page, apparently, is that. Well, Thousands of illegal vapes found in Swansea's... Oh, hang on, I'm sharing my screen. There you go. Well, let me move me. Thousands of, thousands of illegal vapes found in Swansea's garden disused World War II bunker, says officials. There is an actual video of it, man. It's only like 30 seconds. This is the shit they found. And they're seeing... And this, and you've got to bear in mind, this is before the ban. Look at all that. <laughs> this is happening now, before the ban. It. <laughs> I mean, if the consumer wants to buy something and you can't go in a legitimate shop to buy it, well, they're going to buy it from whoever. Friends, family. Acquaintances on social media, TikTok, take your pick. Doesn't matter the platform. If you're looking for something, listen, if I need a ball peen hammer and the hardware stores are not allowed to sell ball peen hammers anymore, but I know my neighbor Johnny Boy's got one, well, I'm going to go over and borrow his. Well, Banning it doesn't Swansea, deal with the problem is... that people want it. Yep. This was in Swansea and all that stuff in there had a street value of more than £47,000. <laughs> that's, just, that's just one discovery. But if you go down, it says, trading standard officers recently from the city recently unearthed more than £1.5 million of illegal vapes at a storage facility in London. This is happening now, before the ban. What's it going to be like when the ban is <laughs> cooking? Well, when the ban's in Maybe. place, Mallory Gates points out that, well, if I want a ball peen hammer and it's been banned, well, there's always going to be blacksmiths that'll make you a hammer and sell it to you. Oh, yeah. Wow, man. Wow. Just because you ban it doesn't mean it goes away. What imbecilic moron is in charge of these idiots? That's what I'm saying. There's two reads, one forty-seventh grand and one one point five million grand. That's just two discoveries. How many more is there going to be across the country? <laughs> you know what I mean? Thousands. That's all that tax. That's all that tax, Mister UK government, that you could have had before you decided to ban everything. Mate, you want well some done. cannabis? I'm sure you know half a dozen places you can get some. Oh, hell. It's been banned your entire life. As one of the biggest publicly listed companies in the UK, British American Tobacco is third in the disposable vape sector behind leading makers, uh, Chinese firms, SKE and iMiracle, which make Elf Bar and Lost Mary. So that's what this whole article is about. This article is about the fact that British American Tobacco wants to be number one. The number one seller, just like they are in Australia. Oh, you didn't know that the pharmacy made Where? and sold products are actually big tobacco products in Australia? So, mm -hmm. the Australia vape ban to protect the kids is nothing more than creating a big tobacco monopoly in the pharmacy. So, the pharmacy is scratching the back of big tobacco and big tobacco scratching the back of pharmacy like they do when they make regular cigarettes. Nothing's changed, and the government made it that way. Because that makes a lot of sense.
You're just playing a shit in your head, aren't you? <sighs> Drives me up a wall. And another unintended consequences of this lovely prohibition that they've been organizing, organizing and marching across, across the world? Lincoln Vapeshaw burglarized again! CEOs frustrated with repeat offenses! Well, yeah, because you put a vape mail ban in, so when people want to order the stuff, it's not possible. The legitimate shops that follow the law said, you all know, sorry, man, you live in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, we can't send you any vape shit. And you go to a local shop and they're like, okay, yeah, I get it, I have some, let me sell it to you. What? It's $150! I could get it online for 60 and you're selling for 150 He's like, yeah, man, I have a hard time getting it to sell it to you. What did you think? I gotta make some money on this. And then now that my shop's getting busted every week, I've spent twenty-five thousand dollars on glass. And it's not for your vapes. Not for your vapes. Echo. Echo. Get an echo. We shouldn't be an echo. Hang on, man. No. Hold on. on. My end. I see the problem. No, I'm really My apologies. Let me get rid of that permanently. Thank you, Mallory Gates. Delete processed mics. <laughs> Don't ever Stop. do that to them again. <laughs> when I was testing my audio chain last week, I added processed audio chain in there before I made the XLR one that's already there come from the right place. So you you were listening to them. I'm so sorry. I failed again. Dangle William, I'm galore. totally innocent. Sean Lynch, hello and welcome. How are you doing, Sean? Thank you, thank you, thank you for telling me about that. Let's find out what the, um, the news had to say about this uh, burglarized vape shop become a popular target for thieves and so far this year there have been nine vape shop burglaries this particular store at 48th and old cheney generation v has been broken into five times this year that video shows two men rummaging through the store early this morning the front door shattered and chunks of concrete on the ground inside the store officers found several of the glass displays busted with vape products scattered around you can also see in this video those two men wearing hooded sweatshirts and black masks. The CEO of the shop believes it is the same person, this time with an accomplice. The CEO says they made off with up to $3,000 worth of merchandise. Just earlier this month, a man used a brick to shatter a window at that same store before getting away with about 300 bucks worth of product. It's the broken windows and displays, however, that add up. In this instance, that cost the business more than $2,000. Then in February, oh, someone in a Tigger costume dollars. broke in through a window and stole about 500 bucks worth of stuff. Tigger costume. <laughs> oh, God. You've got you to give it to some of them. Honest to God. That's, the top of the morning. That's utterly ridiculous. Arrived. Albany. Good morning. Elementary. Good to see you. But it's the top of the... Go away. Go away. Let's go back to the BBC and their lovely article, Jordan North. How safe oh, is vaping God. for my health? Merchants of doubt, mate. Merchants of doubt. Yeah. Oh, they are. Forget about listening to the people that have been doing it for a decade and not smoking. Forget about those people. Because if you actually paid attention to them, you'd find out that, well... Like normal humans, you know, you go to the doctor once in a while just to get a checkup. And when you go to your checkup and you go, hey, man, I've been vaping for 10 years. What's my checkup say? Man, you look <laughs> like you never smoked a day in your life. That'll do it for me. <laughs> oh, you don't want that information getting out there to the public because then cigarette sales will crash. Everybody stop buying them overnight. And they'll be buying these disposables with 5% and... 20 mils of e-liquid. Just buy this once a month instead of a pack of cigarettes every day. You can't have that. My God. Hell no. 
world economy would crash. Where are all those rich people going to make our money? How are we going to make our money? If you all stop smoking. Yeah. And Costner and podcaster yeah, Jordan North. Started vaping oh to try God, and give up cigarettes. He found himself reliant on both and wasn't happy. It's a transition. It doesn't happen overnight for everybody. If you nope. commit yourself to it, it's easily done. How do I know? Because I did that. We were going camping and I says, did I'm you? not taking any cigarettes with me and I'm not going to buy any <laughs> when I'm there. <coughs> I'm going to Nothing. make this shit work. I spent $150 on the freaking starter kit and three different e-liquids because I wasn't sure what kind of flavor I was going to like. And I'm only going to vape. And guess what? I came home Monday a non-smoker. Actually, I was a non-smoker when we left because I didn't have any Pretty cigarettes much. with me and never had one since. Exactly. But I no, hate to admit it, but I started smoking it. when I was 16. I tried so many times to quit and failed. Yeah, so did we. But found that switching to vapes really helped me cut down. Well, you're already improving your health outcome. Now you just got to commit to it, mate. It's that simple. But it soon got to the stage where I was vaping way more in a day than I was smoking cigarettes. Of course you are. Because your That's vape doesn't have the same idea. nicotine uptake that a cigarette does when you light it on fire and breathe that in. It's not humanly possible because guess what? Your vape doesn't have all the added chemicals that increase the absorption and increase the addictive potential of the nicotine. There's these things called MAOIs. I don't want to get too technical for you, but these MAOIs are antidepressants that come in cigarette smoke. And it makes the nicotine more addictive. That's why the scientific Hell studies yeah. that have been done at Penn State University determined and found that, well, when you start using this, the addiction never, ever gets to be the same level that it is for combustible cigarettes. It takes longer to build up an addiction when you're using vaping instead of cigarette smoking. But no, we're not going to pay attention to that kind of science. Why should we? No. Am I swapping one bad habit for another? Seriously? Yes. <laughs> if you're a hobbyist, yes. <laughs> it's a mm. cost your fortune. <laughs> okay, okay, you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, just take a look behind you. It can become an obsession. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I've got, I've got him. And I've actually, I've actually, I've actually got him. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but. You're right. Only if you're a hobbyist. Only if you you're right. a hobbyist. <laughs> Health experts largely agree that vapes or e-cigarettes are a good way to wean adults off smoking because there are far fewer toxins in vapes than in tobacco smoke. We just got them talking about that. <laughs> the Truth of Out what Vaping of by Jordan people? North. Jordan North sets out to decide once and for all. I've heard that before. It's not once and for all. What makes you different than everybody else has tried to t put this message out there? If it's time to quit vaping, what, and go back to smoking cigarettes? Are you a moron? <laughs> oh, but many young people are bypassing cigarettes and go straight to vaping. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome! This might, They're smart. This they don't want to die it. of cigarette smoking. That's fantastic. Why aren't you celebrating it? Please tell me. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so dumbstruck by this guy's comments. He just needs a knighthood, this guy, because he's just, 
he's like a record, you know, the same old record we hear time and time and time. It's just a Jesus <laughs> fuck. One survey of 18 to 24 year olds who use disposable vapes. <laughs> like it's an ugly term. Why don't we, why don't we do this? I would have already done this except see YouTube caught on to what I was going to do last week. And they specifically asked me before I went live, if anything in my live stream is going to be artificially manufactured. <laughs> really? So if I go and put in a little extension that I've already built in Chrome, that lets me substitute out words and I automatically substitute out vapes for smoking cessation products. Smoking well, then it's fake. Products, yes. It's fake because that's not what the actual article says, but that's what it should say. One survey of 18 and 24 year olds who use disposable smoking cessation products suggest about half have never smoked cigarettes. So what? What's the harm? Where's the harm? I think a lot of them probably think vaping is pretty harmless, just like I did. It's because it is. <laughs> told you this Who guy told you otherwise? <laughs> String them right to the guillotine. Yeah. Whoever told you otherwise needs to go right to the guillotine right now. Holy fuck, man. I have a few friends who have never smoked, but now vape. Good. Congratulations. They made a less harmful alternative choice and should be applauded for it. Not questioned about it and used as examples of what other people shouldn't do. And they say they're addicted. Wow. Well, I'm addicted to my coffee. Who's going to come and spank me for it? Exactly. It's pretty sad, well, mate. I do I'm spend just, more on coffee than I do on vaping. Well, I'm just going to have to face it that I'm totally addicted to love. <laughs> Can't help it, but I'm addicted to love. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everybody's man. got a habit of some sort, man. You know what I mean? Everybody's got an Achilles heel. Everybody. Here's your Achilles heel, mate. If you watch certain YouTube videos, investigators demanded your data from Google. Shared Fuck YouTube off. data prompts <laughs> civil liberties worries. What civil liberties? You mean right. the ones that I get stomped on every day that I choose to talk about this on YouTube? Those civil liberties? Yes. Why is it okay when my rights get obliterated from freely talking about this on social media, but now you want to cry the blues because you're subject to the same Civil civil liberty violations? Really? Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Dude, my, what shall we do, eh? Ooh, perish the thought. In now unsealed court documents reviewed by Forbes, Google has ordered to hand over the names, addresses, <coughs> phone numbers, and user activity of YouTube accounts and their IP addresses that watched select YouTube videos part of a larger criminal investigation by federal investigators. Wow. Wow. That's, uh, hmm. The videos were sent by undercover police to a suspected cryptocurrency launderer under the username Elon Musk WHM. <laughs> oh, throw Elon under the bus too. Way to go. That took a lot of talent. Oh, Conversations yeah, with a Bitcoin trader, investigators sent links to public YouTube tutorials on mapping via drones and augmented reality software, Forbes details. The videos were watched more than 30,000 times, presumably by thousands of users unrelated to the case. What a joke. Oh, 
You should see the uproar that was on social media the other day about there's a video on YouTube where apparently there's some kind of ceremonial beheading of horses. Legit. They take a machete and they chop the head off of this horse. And there's a video of it on YouTube that's being suggested to people. And now people are in an uproar about this beheaded. Beheaded horse. Listen, it's not all bad news. I told you, I try to always find something good. I'm sorry, but I'm just looking at that. <laughs> Mallory Gates says, my wife gave me a hand job the other day using Vaseline. I came three <laughs> times trying to wash that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Sorry. That's wild, <laughs> mate. All right, this is the last story. Last story for the news segment. FDA to finally outlaw <laughs> soda ingredient prohibited around the world. Why is this shocking to people? FDA doesn't give a shit about you and I. They only care about making money from their corporate buddies, for their corporate buddies, and both. And you notice that the last ones to do it, as, as, the, as, the, as the title says, it's prohibited around the world except in the U.S. <laughs> well, when your hand gets caught in a cookie jar enough times, you eventually you have to get paid punishment for it. <laughs> right, the man. ingredient once commonly yeah, found in citrus-flavored sodas to keep the tangy taste mixed thoroughly with the beverage could finally be banned for good across the United States. The FDA proposed in November to revoke the registration of a modified vegetable oil known as bromiated vegetable oil. I've talked about this before. Bitched about this for the last three years. In the wake of recent toxicity studies that make it difficult to support its ongoing use. How can you support its ongoing use? When it's known to cause cancer and God knows what other freaking diseases, Alzheimer's, dementia, and neurodegenerative problems. But bromiated vegetable yeah. oil has been used as an emulsifying agent since the 1930s. Sounds like they're talking about cigarettes. That's right. It's an emulsifier. It's an emulsifier, isn't it? That's right. All right. Nice. Once again, the UK found out in the 1970s that bromine was building up in human tissue with animal studies linking the high concentrations of bromiated vegetable oil with heart and behavioral problems. Is that why I'm such a maniac? Possibly. Before I started <laughs> drinking a liter of coffee a day, I was easily drinking two liters of Mountain Dew a day. There you go. All that bromiated vegetable oil built up in my blood system, and now all my health problems are because of that. It had nothing to do with me smoking cigarettes. Yep. Pure baby, baby oil. Assholes. Okay, now, but honestly, God, anything. All right, all right, all right. We're an hour and 10 minutes into the show. I'm going to cut this nonsense off before we get any further <laughs> along the lines. And it has nothing to do with me wanting to get. Hooched up. Nothing. Promise. We believe you. <laughs> See, this is the glass I'm going to be putting my beverage of today into. Uh, does that mean we're going to roll the bumper? Properly chilled. Yes, it's time for a flavor explosion, my friend.
ready for the drop. Up for your entertainment today, we once again revisit this lovely, come on camera, East and Sun oh, yeah. Saloon Espresso Martini. Just add vodka. Uh, they, what do you? You I near, what are you looking for? Is near what are you months, looking for? Months, months ago, my wife's like, "Are you ever going to drink that espresso martini we got you?" I'm like, "Yeah, oh, I'm sure." Well, yesterday See, she's boys like, and girls. "I thought you said you were going to drink that espresso martini. How come you keep drinking these Arnold Arnold Palmers?" I like huh? those Arnold Palmers, <laughs> but I don't care for your espresso martini. So I'm like, I'll. Put that on my live stream. So here we go, on the rocks, because you know that, that makes the alcohol less effective. Espresso. That's why you're looking forward to this because it's got bloody espresso and sudden coffee, coffee and alcohol, your two favorite beverages in one. <laughs> I mate, what do you got? I'm, I'm revisited an old one as well, because I looked at the other day, and I've got. I've got a couple of them actually. I've got one. It's his brother's uh, English cider, and I've got rhubarb and custard. Rhubarb and custard. <laughs> English cider. You are a custard loving also, fool. Yes. But I've also picked up a traditional English flavor. I don't know if you, I think you guys are in America. Toffee apple. Toffee apple cider. Oh, yeah. That's yes. an October drink, mate. Yeah. Nope. It's an all year round. I don't care. And as my normal backup, I've just gone for some uh, some good old 1664 lager. Has my washy down drink. Which we which we is are the vaping. Hello and welcome to the stream. As we know, the Cronenberg is 5% by volume, a pint can. The cider is. Hang on, where we're at with this? It should be up. This, these are also four percent by volume. Mate, what this, is they brought up? This right here is nothing more than Smirnoff vodka that was steeped with coffee beans and a cup of sugar. Ooh, very nice. So it's cool. actually got three of my addictions: alcohol, the decision is coffee, yours. and sugar. The decision's yours. Where will I start? Toffee apple or rhubarb? Maybe we should have put a poll question out. What do you guys think? Drop it in chat. What do you want? Toffee apple or rhubarb and custard? What are we going to subject his taste buds to first? I'll give you a clue. I'm vaping custard donut. Well, that's going to pair up very nicely. I think it's going to pair up nicely with either of them. We are vaping, yes, says rhubarb. That's, that's what I was Mallory says toffee apple. Yes. Come on, drop oh. it in chat. What do you guys want? <laughs> I know there's more than two yens out there. According to YouTube, there's got to be at least 15, 20 yens out there. Anybody? I'm thirsty. Quick. <laughs> rhubarb or toffee apple? It's 50 50 right now. We need a tiebreaker. Be glass. The glass. I'm actually going to put it in the all glass. Right. All right, all right, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into the news. I'm not rolling the news bumper again because we forgot to talk about science. We got to talk oh. about the vape science. You guys drop it in there. Vaping Bix is Apple. Hey. Here Two we have one. a lovely piece of science. Oh. <laughs> Young adult responses to taxes on cigarettes and electronic nicotine delivery systems. Here we go. Abigail oh, Friedman yeah. and Michael Pesco published this. And I know it says July 2022, but I just found it. So I just come across it. It's new to me. All right. And by the way, the order is alphabetical for both authors and neither one. Um, contributed more to the design of this study. They both want credit for it. Pretty much. Anyway. 
Although over half the United States have passed taxes on electronic nicotine delivery systems, recent evidence links end tax rates to increases in smoking. Well, of course, when you tax the smoking cessation product, people would just keep buying the same old combustible cigarettes. Especially if cigarettes are cheaper. And easier to get, like every freaking corner shop, gas station, convenience store, big box store, bar, yep. restaurant, sell cigarettes. You got to find a store that still has, you know, shops that hasn't been run out of business, like Mark and Bernie have. Oh, so pissed off about that. Great it's man horrible. destroyed. One of thousands. Anyway, overall health implications will depend on how these taxes affect the transitions from experimentation to regular smoking and vaping. Care to guess what the outcome is? <laughs> Come on, I know you know the answer. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand what's going to happen here. Just enlighten us, mate. Just enlighten us. In the United States, higher end tax rates are associated with decreased smoking cessation use. But increased cigarette smoking among 18 to 25 year olds with associations reversed for cigarette taxes. So when you tax the harm reduction products, people keep smoking. And for the people that didn't do either, they pick smoking over smoking cessation. Have a nice day. Exactly. Bullshit. It's all bullshit. All right, Absolute mate. We still had a tie. Rhubarb, apple, apple, rhubarb. We need somebody to break the tie. Hey, Al Ben, come on. Oh, you already voted. Come on, somebody else. Pam, we are beeping. Nice cider. Come on. I want to toss a coin. You call it. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is. So that's going to be rhubarb. <laughs> well, Pam chimed you in with Apple it. and Billy Lee Rice chimed in with rhubarb. So you get to go with your rhubarb because you're still tied. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. <sighs> Cheers. Oh. Cheers, my friend. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, god. oh that is amazing. That Whoa. really is. <laughs> Holy cow, is that more of a coffee infused flavor than what it was when we first mixed it up? I literally let those coffee beans sit in there for like two weeks before I finally strained it out and put it back in the fridge. Hey, uh, rhubarb. The nice red color, and that oh, lovely, and that pretty. Very nice. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God, that's so good. Holy fuck. Nah, gotta go for it. There we go. Custard. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 wow. That's so good. Oh. Mm -mm. Wow. Limp biscuit. Oh. Limp biscuit banana custard cookie. That's what I've been plowing my way through. And actually, we have it in the... Um, DIY recipe review section coming up uh, later on. I'm not going to burst the bubble oh. on that one. It actually accentuates it. And accentuates is the word of long for. It brings out the accentuates. rhubarb. Accentuates. Oh, the yeah. Rhubarb. Oh, look at that. God, look at that vape just hovering weird. inside there. Oh, I think it looks so cool. This is me party trick on Halloween. You know, Halloween, you go, I'm going to drink from the cauldron. <laughs> I've got a fog machine that has uh, ice, dry ice to accentuate the fog and keep it hovering low instead of filling the whole room. Ah. 
That's so good. That's really good. I'm very amazed at that. How the, how how they've nailed that was is amazing. Hmm. Wow. They've actually nailed that flavor to a tea. I can't get over how this broadens the palate of that drink. And it broadens the palate of the vape. That pairing and that combination, it's like, man, I want to go and add some coffee to this. Because by itself, I think it's got too much dap. You know that mouthfeel you get from butter? That Mm -hmm. funky, creamy, even, even... yeah, that, that whole creamy coating that you have in the, yeah. all the surfaces of your mouth. Yes, that's what that's, that's what right, that yeah. e-liquid is, and oh. it's just like, no, that's not my cup of tea. I'm sure there's some people out there that truly love it. I'm not one of them. I've grown mm-hmm. on custards, but I need a break from custards. I've used them so much. Oh, lately. don't get us don't get us wrong. I don't, you know, I don't vape ninety, but eighty percent of the time. I don't vape them all the time. I do have a break because I, I think the last time I end up getting vape is tongue. So I do like switch around, especially like say with the bags of stuff that you send us and stuff like that. You know, I have to have a switch about. You've got to, you know what I mean? All right, all right, all right. Hand check time. Let's reload the Facebook page. Make sure nobody else has contributed. Right now, William Dobson's the only one. Oh, Vaping Bick threw his comments in. Let me save that one. Vaping Bick has the Artem 21700 Mech. Oh, Mech. Now we're talking. Oh, they born by wheels in they time born. over in France, and he paired that up with the fat rabbit. Never guess oh, who reached out to not. me, mate. Oh, to do a review. Oh, hell vape. No way. Speaking of fat rabbit, hell vape nice. got a hold of me on Facebook, and they sent me an email. And replied back to them, so hopefully they can be sending me something. Very nice. Good good Hell stuff like, there. Yeah. Stuff. Be a, right? It's gotta be a fat rabbit one it of some sort. <laughs> this is the new one coming. It's gotta be some kind of new rabbit. Yeah. Rabbit rabbit. I'm gonna put the oh, music back nice. on. That's really nice. All right, there's the music back on for your entertainment. And there's the beautiful mech that he was just talking about. That's really nice. That's the Artem 2100, 2700 mech with the fat rabbit sitting on top. That is really nice. That is awesome. Speaking of which, if you haven't already, go sub uh, to his channel, Vaping with Vic. Mm -mm -mm. And here we go, William Dobson's lovely selection. Look at that. I need to make me one of those display stands. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's the top side with the sand, Samdwich, S A M D W I C H. Samdwich. That's nice. And look at that carousel of all these little vapes that he's got. That's tremendous. That's really nice. That's awesome. I put up a video on what the metric threads are that you need for you to be able to do that yourself. There's a link are for they your are vaping big channel. Go, go yes, click on it and girls. sub if you haven't already. Go sub to the guy. Absolutely brilliant reviewer. And awesome. Mallory sent me hers on Discord. Let's bring that up. How do you get dark mode again on this fucking thing? On what? OBS? No, on them. Um... I've got the ALR page, but it's white. I can't remember how you make the dark mode on this fucking browser again. Mm. Google. 
Uh, I got your message you sent me, Mallory, but I, um, I have to scroll through and find your thing. If it's in the dad joke section, I downloaded all the pictures this week. Thank you, Mallory Gates, for supplying them because I spent the rest of my week doing um, microphone stuff and audio stuff and rerouting everything inside of OBS to get the audio right. I don't see it. All right. Hour and 27 minutes in. Time to, for some dad jokes. Let's get her laugh on. I need to create a bumper for this. That's what I need. There we go. I get 50 mile per gallon. What do you get, Laid? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I rest my kids. <laughs> Seen them all. <laughs> in the great outdoors. And you're covered in mud. Oh, yeah. That's a truly unique experience. <laughs> I bet. And you were speaking of earlier, coin toss is not 50-50. The head side of a coin typically has slightly more mass than its tail side due to how it's engraved. This results in a 56% chance of a coin landing heads up. Saves fixed. Even that's fixed. <laughs> I'm skipping the coffee. It's already a tequila kind of day. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got one martini here, mate. That's good enough. Yeah, man. So would you actually make that I yourself? Put it on the rocks. Person. Did you make that yourself then? Or did the wife make it? The martini? She bought the bottle. The bottle came with sugar and coffee beans in it. And, and a little just, card and a ah. strainer. And it said, fill it up with vodka. Let it soak and sit for up to two weeks. Then strain it out and your coffee martini is done. So you've got the alcoholic version of a one shot. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> if you live in the USA, you have better odds of dating Taylor Swift than dying of bird flu and Ebola combined. So what you're telling me is telling there's, me a there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. Woohoo. Officer, turn around. Me. Every now and then Every I get a little bit I lonely. Get a little bit lonely and you're never coming round. Turn, Turn around. around. Every now and then I get a tea. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Absolutely love oh, it. Oh, it's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> oh, come on. I was only joking. <laughs> Awesome. Did you know if the human eye was a digital camera, you would have 576 megapixels? Still, you can't see me. But on the plus side, it's got more stops. If you look at the camera, it's got more stops and depth of field. Infinite stops. Liquor yeah. store attendant said, hey, do you need help? Yes, but I've decided to come here instead. <laughs> I get that very good very good being honest things I could eat every day definitely <laughs> that ice cream looks wonderful and she's weird I knew that sounded familiar puberty hit dash like a truck and so did those bullets. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my Lord. I only date guys with BMWs. Old classic one. <laughs> well, nice little three wheeler. It's you a get into the front. That's right, yeah. Holy moly. Did you know what happens after six tequila shots? 
I don't Nobody think anybody does. does. <laughs> Too far gone. Sloppy handwritings of doctors are responsible for over 7,000 deaths each year. People who stay up late at night are likely to be more intelligent than those who go to bed early. Hippopotamostrosoquidelophobia <laughs> is a oh. fear of long words. No shit. <laughs> wow. A psychological study confirms that the presence of beautiful women ignites stupid behavior in men. True. <laughs> People who regularly get less than six hours of sleep increase their chance of dying over a 25-year period by 12%. Oh, that's me knackered then. <laughs> <laughs> and ironically, the word nice originally meant foolish or stupid. You're nice. You're very Intelligence nice. for your life. <laughs> Not the John Tess show. When she is being less than subtle, grab both <laughs> buns and eat it like a man. <laughs> I love it. Holy crap, I've been cloned. <laughs> wax on, wax off. <laughs> oh. I love it. When I'm 100 years old, I will be dead. I think I will look like this. RIP. <laughs> Kids. Don't know how to tell you anything but the truth. Exactly. Honesty. A kid in the park informed me smoking was bad for you. So I popped his balloon with my cigarette and told him so was talking to strangers. <laughs> true. How true? I don't half-ass anything. I fuck it up all the way. <laughs> Hell yeah. If you ever think mythology is boring, just remember that Cerebrus, Cerebrus, the hellhound and guard dog of the underworld, comes from the root Indo-European word Kerberos, which evolved into the Greek word Kerberos, which got changed to Cerebus when it went from Greek to Latin. Kerberos means spotted. That's right. Hades, Lord of the Dead, literally named his pet dog Spot. Ah! <laughs> See, he did have a heart. <laughs> Everyone is a 3D printer. Oh, God. What goes in <laughs> must come out. <laughs> Me, I'm still tired from all oh. the CrossFit this morning. My coworker, it's pronounced croissant. And you ate four of them, you fat cow. <laughs> yeah, dear me. Chithulu 2024, equality through insanity. Through insanity. Hell yeah. <laughs> Answers that are simple but wrong, everybody wants them. Answers that are complex but technically right, very few Nobody seek that know. path. My husband, being unhappy with my mood swings, bought me a mood ring the other day so he would be able to monitor my moods. We've discovered that when I'm in a good mood, it turns green. And when I'm in a bad mood, it leaves a big red mark on his fucking forehead. Maybe <laughs> next time he'll buy me a diamond. No. No, because the diamond will penetrate your skull. Uh, yeah, that would keep you in. <laughs> Local police oh, are now targeting vapors and serial killers. That's that's poor border shopping that late, but I get it. <laughs> Roses are red, horses go clop for the best vasectomy, Dr. Dick Chop. <laughs> Whatever you do today, 
Do it with the confidence of a four-year-old in a Batman t-shirt. Hell yeah. Right on. Right on. Red Bull is about to give this guy wings. <laughs> oh, shit, he's done. He's falling out. Oh, God. Nope. Nah, honey, there ain't nothing going on today. <laughs> the city of Kenosha. Do you have a hole that needs to be filled? The city of Kenosha takes public safety very seriously, which is why we've excited about to launch our new Show Us Your Hole public safety initiative. <laughs> to participate, to participate, simply send us a picture of your hole along with its location in the tagline, come fill my hole, and we will dispatch our crews to service your hole in a prompt and professional manner. And your satisfaction is our number one priority. Well, make about what you will. <laughs> Speaking of buttholes, Dr. Brian King announced at the recent uh, nicotine conference that uh, there will be a new nicotine product standard because the FDA plans to develop a proposed product standard that would establish the maximum nicotine level to reduce the addictiveness of cigarettes and certain other combusted tobacco products. Really? Mm-hmm. But we're not in any kind of hurry to do that because that would mean we'd lose all of our funding. So we'll get around to it. Yeah, it's just, just something to keep the, the punters happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Motivate your answer. Go, answer. Go. <laughs> Even these boxes are having more fun than me right now. Oh, Jesus. For sale, brass knuckle Jesus dual taco holder butt plug. $15 or, bat or best offer. No weirdos allowed. Holy moly. What on earth? Mm. Now I've got Jesus on him because when, when that, that gun's in, that's the first thing you're sold is Jesus. Christ. <laughs> we have some demented people in this world to come up with that some idea. Really weird. We're going to take brass knuckles, attach a butthole plug, a statue of Christ, and two taco holders. And if you thought that was bad, the five deadly terms used by women. Fine. This is the word women use to end an argument when she knows that she's right and you just need to shut the fuck up. Yep. Nothing means something and you need to be worried. If you know what's good for you. <laughs> Go ahead. This is a dare, not permission. Do not under any circumstances go ahead and do what you were going to do whatever that's a woman's way of saying screw you asshole that's okay she's thinking long and hard on how and when you're going to pay for your mistake <laughs> and as a bonus the bonus word is wow that's not a compliment She's amazed that one person could be so stupid. <laughs> and that oh, ends our vocabulary lesson for today. Definitely. When Gen Z asks why everyone in the old photos have red eyes, I tell them that they were too young to remember the great demon uprising of the 1980s. <laughs> and they all believe it. But they're doing all. Here's an archaeological discovery from Switzerland. This saw me now. <laughs> I love it. Some will get this. Ah, hang on.
Lucy in the sky with diamonds. I was going along them sky with diamonds there, like, but you beat us. And for those of you out there that need a little bit more factual information, here's the teen vaping epidemic that we still can't shake from the bullshit scaremongering stories in our news feeds. At the peak of it, frequent use was 6%. It is now 2%. Good. Don't stand so, don't stand so close to bees. Don't bees. <laughs> it's not staying, it's stung. One, two. There you go, this one, you can sing this one. It's a nice day for a light sweater. It's a nice day for a cardigan. Nice day for a light sweater. <laughs> Holy damage. Bless the guns. Bless the guns. I asked my grandpa, who is a retired homicide detective, to babysit tonight. And believe you and me, I was not disappointed. <laughs> what a brilliant idea. <laughs> not funny. We sprung forward so hard, we went back to winter. Sure did. Mm. All right. Texting while driving kills. For more driving tips, text SAFETY to 79191. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Really? When you have the stupid oh, oh. leading the dumb, this is what you end up with. My God. You're late again. What happened this time? Sir, you won't believe it. No fucking way! <laughs> hey, we, we saw this one before. The neighborhood feud. My wife and I have a United Federation of Planets flag hanging outside of our house. And my neighbors just hung the Cleon flag on theirs. Oh, yeah? Where's the Romulans? What happened to the Romulans? How come they're not represented Romulans. in this neighborhood feud? Wow. No one has ever ate my ass like you did. Calm down. I was trying to cover up the taste of your vagina. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. He has your eyes. Oh, come oh, on. Poor Jordy. <laughs> Chewbacca, when he was in fifth grade. Oh, bless. <laughs> he does look like him, doesn't he? Shit. I gotta get one of them doggies. Gotta be better than my Maggie. Probably windswept. And there's your unsolicited oh, deck pick. Oh, my God. I'm scraping. Not as scraping as this. I updated my privacy settings so you can't sniff my bunghole. <laughs> I'm done with alcohol. Look at this parrot I bought last night. Well, move. What in fuck? <laughs> Holy moly. I'm not your father. That's good. I can really go with that. But you do Dorito. What's wrong with this picture? This is kind of like the sliding door company that it has regular pull open doors at its entrance. Here we got the iRobot shop and the lady's using a mop to dust the floor. A shelf full of them. Yeah. Don't waste your peeps. Repurpose them. Cure for wobbling tables. 
pin cushions that need replacing, or as a cell phone holder, and the most popular use of peeps, wine cork. Clever. <laughs> clever, clever. I like it. <laughs> A1 steak sauce for people who cannot grill a proper steak. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. You get a properly cooked and seasoned steak, you don't need any kind of sauce to go with it. I would probably fall in that category because I'd I like mine well done. And I mean well Nintendo done. Nintendo prepped us for this fight. I can't wait to see that. I want to see Tyson tear him in your asshole. Because he's a little prat. He's just a little stupid little YouTuber who barely won his last fight. Do you suffer from butt hurt? But hurtinol, 800 milligrams. Take two of these and shut the fuck up. <laughs> but hurtinol. <laughs> I feel fat. Oh, dear, Tell dear. me something that lifts me up. A forklift. Follow for more <laughs> expert marriage tips. <laughs> Fucking forklift. Dad with daughters. Oh Dad with sons. That's so true, isn't it? You're rough as a badger's ass with the boys, but you're so careful with the girls. <laughs> and you thought oh last week was God. bad when we were talking about quarters up Mothman's ass? Mallory found a way to outdo herself. My God. Vape laws, when prohibitionists are in control to protect the teens. We don't need to worry about the adult smokers. Let them nope. all die. They can die anyway. Bring me another Smurf. Yes. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tom Riddle. I see you have found my Nokia. Good luck destroying this horcrash. They were brilliant, Bond. They were brilliant, Bond. Back when phones were actually indestructible. Well, they were a phone, not a computer. They were an actual phone. And they just the battery lasted forever. The phone lasted forever. It was brilliant, man. It's because all it did was make calls when you got around to it. Yeah. If 80s movies have taught me anything, it's that anyone with a red sweater tied around their neck is a dick. Pretty much. <laughs> Three out of four superheroes agree that money is the best superpower. Oh, all right. All right. So we parked our plane in Detroit and we took our wheels. <laughs> Fucking nigger wheels. <laughs> what do you get when you eat peanut butter and baked beans? A fart that sticks to the roof of your ass. <laughs> and another beautiful example of why women live longer than men. What on earth? Shot he'd jump out of a second story window and fly the broom into the pool. No. Hell no. I honestly think that he made some smart ass comment to his wife and she said, you try it. And he was dumb enough to do it. If you're feeling awkward buying condoms, go to a sex toy store, condoms, are one of the tamest things there. And the clerks won't be awkward about sex. There you go. The awkward moment when the Justice League finds out you got pulled over and given a breathalyzer test. <laughs> if only. In which battle did Napoleon die? His last one. Where was the Declaration <laughs> of Independence signed? At the bottom of the page. The Ravi River flows in which state? Well, liquid state. Can't 
flow if it's frozen. What is the main reason for divorce? Marriage. <laughs> it Give that creativity. kid a medal. <laughs> I love that. You want some chewing gum, mate? Oh, Me? Mm. No? No. No? Oh. No, thank you. I don't want chew gum. Well, I'll chew your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and the stream can't hear half of what you're chewing. Huh? <laughs> I'll have to check it out on the replay see how effective it was. Oh, oh that... Mallory's right. The Romulans, they were cloaked. They were there, but they were cloaked. Ah. And like vaping Bix is, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know. Microphone, A, B, C, or D. And there, you can get them in all sizes. And Mallory can't show you crunching. That's a good one. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. You put up here what? The worst thing women can do is use their partner's first name instead of their pet name. My other half is always worried when I call him by the name his mother gave him. <laughs> that means you're in trouble. When they call you by your full name, it's like, uh oh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, what did I do now? That's yep. when my brain goes 900 <laughs> mile an hour. Uh, oh, shit. What have I done? What have I not done? What did I not do? What did you tell us to do? <laughs> how, did I, how did I screw up this time? Oh, yeah. Hot diggity dog diggity. Mm. Fantastic. Awesome stuff. Brilliant. Well, I know that the um, description says we're going to do a retro vape next, but I think before we do the retro vape, I need to deal with my arbiter. Why not? Oh, man. That sucks. Tell me, do you have a box like this? Yes and no. <laughs> it's kind of like stuff that I need. <laughs> There's an interesting one for you. Hang on. Who is the most popular guy at the nudist colony? The one who can carry a cup of coffee in each hand and a dozen raw nuts. <laughs> Love it. I like the music change there, I like. Oh, you lucky, lucky man. Look at the smile on his face. Look at him. Look at the smile. Watch him, watch his face drop when he opens the box, it's empty. 
<laughs> What's it? It'll be it'll be a dud box. There'll be nothing in it. <laughs> Hey! Oh my god. The Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is here. I'm not gonna mess it. I'm not gonna take a chance. No, you're gonna hack your fingers off and try to rip that off. So we'll put it back in the box and save it for later. Hey, I am so get... glad. I am so glad that I've got myself a spare glass. However, we talked about last week, something that I needed to do. And you asked me, well, have you seen spares? Have you ever seen spares? Cause look, they're busted, both of them. <laughs> You bought them. Guess what I found? Well, Guess what I found, found on them? Amazon there, mate? Oh, very nice. Oh. Check you out, matey. Yeah, not but only was it cheap enough. Yes, this was six bucks. Wow. For four pair of the ceramic tips plus something I'm else screwed. I didn't know I needed. A replacement screw. Yeah. Spare screws and all. So that's getting fixed later after the show. Good and while we're talking about there. vape mail, do you remember, I don't know if you noticed this during the stream last week, Apathy Miller was here last week and he put a drop, a little link in chat. Amazon had a yeah. sale going on, right? Yeah, it's about, a, about a spring sale week all week. They had a wonderful sale going on this week. And on the replay, when I watched it the next day to put the timestamps in, I caught his chat message that I missed <laughs> during the stream. And do you know, Slot Echo, let me double check the scene. Yes. One, two, three. Oh, God, man. Yeah, it works. Okay. So, he mentioned during the stream. Amazon was having a sale. And don't get me wrong, uh, I truly love this scale. It works great. And I've got little tiny jeweler scales when I'm doing, you know, little bottles. Yeah. But what if we got this hunky Hawaiian punch and I wanted to mix up a big bottle of it? Okay. I need a different scale because this one only works I see what going here. a little bit. So oh, there was this sale going, going on here. for this scale that it. measures to the hundredth of a gram. And it was on sale. And it measures up to a kilogram. Fuck it. <laughs> I did not realize it was going to be this massive. <laughs> Jesus, fills your table. You know how much this thing cost me? $25. Bargain? That is a bargain. I'll take it. That's not it. <laughs> Look, that calibrate it.
Holy moly is right. That's huge. Damn. Sorry, dog. I didn't mean to scare you. Jesus Christ, they're cooking skills, man. You can weigh a pound of flour on that. What's up with this camera? <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're going to bake some cakes, aren't you? <laughs> Doesn't come with batteries. You're going to but bake it does some come cakes. With. This is lab grade equipment here. <laughs> You're gonna bake a cake, aren't you? <laughs> a space cake. That's for your flower. Holy shit, man. What on earth is all of that? That's what I'm wondering. What the fuck? <gasps> Not a box of some sort, is it? The no destruction manual, like, so I'll be having to consult the destruction manual, like. Why are you making a box? That's, I know what that's for. I know what it's for. To fill, your, fill it up with your coke so it doesn't go all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> no way. You wait out your kilo. When you're weighing out your kilo bags for sale. See? Why have you got a why have we got a box on top of a set of scales? Why is that? What in fuck's name do you want a clear plastic box? on the top of a fucking set of scales for <laughs> with a lid with an actual lid come on what on earth oh so your bottle doesn't tip over is that what it is oh my god almighty do you believe this oh, Holy shit. I mate, I could make uh, a one liter bottle of one shot to steep and age and then recant it and sell it. But you wouldn't go through that little hole on the top of there though. <laughs> Take it off. But what what is the what's the purpose of that? I what's don't the know. purpose of that? <laughs> what is the point of that? What is it for? Mate, I don't know. But it came with it all. It even comes with a was a five hundred gram weight, so you can make sure that the scale's accurate. Yeah, you calibrate them with your weight, yeah. 25 bucks. I've got some of this. See these ones here? Then. Yeah. 
I've got a little jeweler scale like that, that too. I've got a one gram. I've got a one gram weight with this, so you can calibrate it. Jeweler scale, my ass. Them skills aren't used for jewelry, and you know it, and I know it. <laughs> The one we use every week is 200 gram. Came with the 200 gram test weight. Anyway, while we're here, package number three arrived. Finally, over oh a God. month to get my order from Element Vape. I don't understand what? it. Sometimes they can get the stuff here in a week, and then other times, a month later, I contacted them, and their reply to me was, well, once the track, the shipping company has it, we have no control over what happened. What? I understand you have no control over it, but could you at least tell me why they said they tried to deliver it on Saturday and nobody was home when we were obviously home all freaking day? Hmm. Wow. Long story short, we do have vape mail. No oh, well. Better late than never, I suppose. So worst case scenario. <laughs> do you notice I'm getting shorter? You. Yeah. Your chair broke now, is it? <laughs> you need a new chair now. I was practically sitting on the damn floor. Will I get your cushion, mate? All right, all right, all right. Vape mail. Stuff to be excited about. Guess what I had to order from the old lady? Oh. I bought her all those pods, right? Oh, that's nice. That's correct, yes. And she didn't she like loves them. them. But she was crying to blues the two Bruh. out of the four pot max pot that she has don't last anymore. When you get them, Dudes. that battery will last you all day long. Ah. Now she only gets about a half a day out of them and has to switch off between different ones. So I picked up some more of these that they had. Is that is that is that not doubt or just excessive? Well, the thing is, <laughs> you know I mean, got off I mean, how long ago did I do the review video on that? I did the review video on it. She fell in love with the thing oh, God. and was using it all the time. And then every once in a while, she would try some of these other things that I that I have her on. But she always wants to have a backup. Yeah. And she always kept going back to this, kind of like I do with my Arbiter. Which is... So she got these ones, and I'm like, okay, yeah. well, let me order you some more new ones to make sure that you can actually use up all those pods. Here's her clearance, like five bucks a piece. So Sorry. she got three more Max pods. Happy wife, Affirmative. Happy life, man. And kind of ironic, kind of ironic that Hellvape got a hold of me because guess what I just bought? The Fat Rabbit Solo. Ah. Yeah. So the big Kyla. Fat Rabbit was too much airflow and I just had that leak out on me. I mean, I love the flavor on it. I love the vape. But it'd be nice to have something that was a little bit smaller. So I want to try the solo version and see what that's like. And like I was preaching before, do not order a rebuildable without ordering spare glass. Without a glass. <laughs> Look at this. See, you probably did that with your Arbor deck. How many Arbor Six. did you buy? Four or five? So there's four or five glasses you must have ordered. Six. So he must have bought it six glasses. 
to go with um, them. That's some point. what made me start buying glasses with them is because I broke one. So I ordered two to replace it. One is a, and I'm like, I got six of them. You know, I, I don't know how often am I going to need them? Well, I wasn't taking any chances with this one. I got two of them. Very nice. And if that retro vape doesn't work out, we can find coils with it. Ooh. How about from Wismac? Mm. We've got a DNA board. Wow. DNA in the Wismac, Jesus. Or how about Aspire's attempt at a squonker? Mm. The Feedlink Revo kit. Actually, it wasn't too bad when I heard about that. Like retrovate. You've always got a back up, man. <laughs> How about that one? Iron Mike Iron Tyson Mike. White Mike. Gummy Jeez. Bear. 15,000 puffs. How are they getting away? How are they getting away with using his name? Is he actually fucking... Is he actually certified himself on our or is that just somebody I like... I have no idea, use his name. Oh, oh, not a one to mess with. That's not one to mess with. You pinched his name and he comes looking 14 for 14 mils of juice, with. 15,000 hits. <laughs> That's going to easily last a month. Wow. And how about, how about the Kanger Tech K1? The Cody Kanger Tech. Yeah. Been very busy on the old discount shelf, haven't you? Not only that, but there was something else that we saw on there that really tickled our fancy. These are all retro vapes. <coughs> okay. Except for that disposable. They also had a special going on that they sold eight random disposables for like 35 bucks. Right. And there they are. <laughs> so let's see what we got. Holy moly. <laughs> it was literally sold as just like you know a potluck kind of thing where whatever it was so they would go around and they would actually bag up four packs of these like, bit like a mystery yeah bit like a mystery box yeah mystery disposables <laughs> that's gonna be awesome Ox the bar. g8000 i did a review on that one that's fantastic can't get over how long this thing lasts. We got the EB design BC 5000. There's a Panther bar. I've never seen that or tried that before. Filled with UK e liquid. If you can see that. Uh, odd. UK. Mm. That's another one, isn't it? Twin barrel, frozen ice pineapple. Oh my god. Cloud nerds, strawberry mango. Escobar, strawberry cream. Oh, that sounds nice. Posh kiwi melon. Oh no. Melon, no. No, no, and no. V no, Fun. No. 5,000 puff. Watermelon ice. Uh, That's no. going to keep the wife happy. No, no, no. Them two last flavors are in the bin. 
for a while. Here's our three vape mails this week. Although, yeah. Holy moly. Lovely replacement ceramic tips. My wife's got plenty of disposables. She's going to Nashville for work. So she'll be able to take this stuff all with her. You've been a, you've been a very busy boy. And she's got her three brand new free max, max pod. She's going to be a happy camper like when she comes home from work. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I've never bought any vape stuff for a while. I'm saying that like I've had other things. Iron Mike Tyson, 15,000 hits. You know what? They probably spelled his name different. I don't know how he spells his name. Except Even so, it's very close. <laughs> but I'm curious to see about that. I don't know if I showed you, but I'm just uh... So that's added to my retro. These are added to my retro vapes. And that uh, Fat Rabbit solo is going to be added to my review pile. And I got to order a new shock for this chair. Jeez, how many fucking things have I got open? Yeah. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of wow. that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now the reason I haven't bought, I don't know if I've actually showed you, like, but the reason I haven't bought anything recently is because yeah, of that. How's she like it? My wife's new set of wheels. She loves it. It's all, all fixed. Got a new drive shaft on, new gearbox mount on, and bye, does it go. Oh, does it shift. I, I said, do you want a spot? <laughs> what did it cost it you to get those um, really? wow. axles replaced? Last week you well, talked that, about that bit that was missing. That's why you said, oh, the shop can fix it. Oh, did I show you? It's a pretty screwed that he, uh, he charged us there. Uh, I bought the parts. The drive shaft was about 140 quid. The gearbox mount was about 50 quid, and you only charge us 60 quid to fit them. It's not worth your time I mean, to do that. Six, 65 quid to fit it. That, that just is, that beats me crawling under a car trying to brace, and he did. He, there was a couple of bolts that were really tight, so I'm glad he did it. <laughs> oh. You know, when you release the... Uh, you know, when you've got to release the ball, the, the end uh, ball joint arm on the end of the steering rack, that was a bitch to get out. It was in tight. So you literally had to have a slide hammer to get it out. It was in tight. So I'm glad he did it, not me. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. The vaping heat is out of sync. Oh, Christ, I forgot. Uh, your audio and video is probably out of sync. It's something you could do. That's Ninja. Oh. These blinky things is an OBS error. I had it happen. It crashed on me when I was trying out the audio chains ah. and tests and stuff like that. And um, I had installed the audio mixer thing that Excelgero put out there. And it actually crashed OBS. So I had to uninstall it. But when OBS glitches the video, it's video and audio fall out of sync. There's no easy way to fix it once it happens. When the stream's over, OBS will probably crash if it falls too far out of sync. I did go, I mean, I, I didn't quite get the beach, but I got the dock and wow. there was a big oh. boat in. That's on the River Tyne. As you can see, it was a horrible day, so I, I didn't go to the beach like promised. I just went to the docks. And that was in, DFDS Big Ferry was in. And if I remember correctly, I did get 
Was it the... No, I told you about the, the, we've got a ferry from North Shields to South Shields to go across the river. I haven't uploaded them on the computer, that's it there, the, that's the ferry terminal. And there, was actually, there was actually a, a boat going out. But, you know, there you go, there's a boat going out there. That was the ferry crossings. But you can see it was a gloomy, gloomy day, it was raining, it was horrible. And I thought, I'm not going to no beach in this. Like, <laughs> it was too far away. <laughs> it was just such a long walk. That's like that's kind of like the riverbank down there, like South Shields. It's like the where the where the port of Tyne is. Where they do all the the docks, dock dock and stuff. Um, nice. I mean, like you see, you can see that one there. I just had a bit of pan round. See all the cranes now. That's the port of Tyne. Where a lot of the stuff comes in, you know, customs and all that stuff is down there. Beautiful. There you go. <laughs> I was going to, I forgot to upload them on the computer and I thought, you'd knob. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. That's how I ended up. Well, well, I mean, that was why my car was getting fixed. I just went for a wander. <laughs> I don't blame you, mate. I don't blame you one bit. It was a gloomy, horrible day, unfortunately. So I end up just seeing what there was in the docks. That's the way it is do. here. <laughs> pouring out. Just, well, it's not pouring, just, but it just is rain. rain. It's just constant. It's been constant rain here for the last week, week and a half. Absolutely hammering. That's one thing I can't do with this martini. I can't hammer it. No, no, Jesus. Uh, martini, yeah, I've never been a fan. I've been a fan of it, but the thing is, you sip it, you have one, and you're done. You can't sit there and, like, you yeah. know, have three or four of them. Maybe if you're no, eating no, a dinner, no. you know, you have an appetizer, you order it with the appetizer, you drink it during yeah, that, and you, you get a refill that. while you're, you know, eating your dinner. But that's mm. it. It's only like sitting around with a couple pints of beer. You know what I mean? Different kettle of fish, isn't it? Yeah. It's more of a refined, you know, a nice meal, drinky poos. <laughs> yeah. Ra rather than a friggin' lager lout like us. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got my um, order in from Element Vape, I need a cash infusion from Bloomberg. Ah. Oh. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. I like That's this automation, mate. I, like I finally got all it's this really stuff going, cool. so it's just like, you know, one after the other. That deserves a round of applause. <laughs> you were panicking there, you can't come on work. <laughs> Is it gonna come in? Is it gonna work? It's gonna work? It's working. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. The switching Don't microphones like back and dick. forth is automated. I've got timestamps now are automatically generated every time I roll a bumper. So with that as a segue, I think it's time for us to do a retro vape. Yes, sir. Alrighty, so there is our lovely Raptor. The Kenny had sent me over that I had to plaster a bunch of stuff in there because it's lying. This product does not contain nicotine unless you choose to put it in there. There's our spare O-rings, A10 to 510 drip tip adapter. Now let's take a look at this. Lovely setup. And let's Minus see. <laughs> let's see. 
Oh, I do apologize, mate. What for? It's the big, the big colors are going. I'm, I must confess, like. Uh, I feel like a right fine. Those are Vaporesso. Chill, uh, don't worry, mate. Don't worry. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. No, C O M P E T E. Coils for R E P T O R P T E. Evolution Raptor replacement H Pro. Ah. Have you got a falcon? Have you got a falcon tank? Uh, yeah, but I don't have any coils for the falcon. What other? Because uh, them coil. Probably the falcon coils go in. And I've got shitloads of them sitting right in front of us. M10s and all sorts. Fuck. Wish I had none. Those are the crown three. Hold on. Yeah, you look at the Fal Falcon tank and the Falcon King. Because obviously it's EH Pro in it. All right. Give me a second. Oh, man. Hang on. <laughs> oh. I wish I'd known. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <laughs> I wish I'd known. So I'll tell you why I wish I'd known. Because you got a crap ton of them. What's then? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Shit. I wish I'd known. I really... Bam, man. But on the plus side, you can still get Falcon coils, so you can still get coils for it. Yeah, I could pop over to the local vape shop for that. Is it? Is EH Pro gone bust now? Because they've done the end. Yes, I heard they, they declared Vicks bankruptcy. Tank. Yeah, because they've done Vix Tank, didn't they? And they went bankrupt. The, um, the fucking. Oh, what do you call it again? Fuck brain fart. I have another box somewhere. I don't know where it is right off the bat. I don't know. It's all right. Falcon Coil. Throw this, throw this oh, back in God. the bin. I do apologize. I do apologize. It's no worries, mate. In. I would hide a box in, man. feeling that I'll send some over to you for whenever next time. <laughs> Shit. I wish I'd known the boxes of them. <sighs> what a divvy. What a divvy. What no a worries, we'll just do this. Out. That's the reason I was picking up extra stuff. 
Oh, I do apologise. I can't back up for it. Oh, I wish I'd known. So, Wismac, what is this? Well, to give you a, to give you some kind of inclination what the tank's like, if it's taking Falcon coils, you know how good the Falcon is. That's how good it is. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic for flavor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Always make stuff come in cases like this. At least all the ones that I got. <laughs> oh, William Dobson's on, on form the night, like he's on form the night. Oh, good old William. Look at that man. Look what he's seeing. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is at this moment in time, you're right with the bloody football team. They're hopeless at the minute, absolutely useless. <laughs> Kelpie, that was it. Vix was the Kelpie, that's it. I knew it was some mythical Scottish creature and I just couldn't think of the name of it. Proper brain pump. Look at that. That, that is very snazzy, isn't it? Ew, a display case, mate. It's a display case, not a box. And when they packaged it, they put this rubber top in here. So it kept it secure in the packaging. That's so cool. Plus it's kind of a protector, isn't it? When you're not using it, you can just put the boat on and there's, you know, it stops any shit getting in it. That's a decent sized pod now, isn't it? Wow. So it's got a standard 510 drip tip on it. Bit loosey loosey though, is it, for old girls? It's loosey loosey for not the original one. Because yeah. the diameter of the O rings weren't, you know, a standard size that they used back then. But that is fantastic. Yeah. Very nice. And that's the airflow ring there. It's got to be a fill port somewhere on it. Probably in the bottom, is it? Fill right port there. on the bottom. No, it's on the top. Yeah, it's cool. How about the coil? Can you change the coil? Looks like got a, a cover pod, over it. it. No, it's a sealed pod. I mean, it's not sealed as sealed. in you could put whatever your fluid you want in, but it's a pressed well, you in. You can't change the coil. No. Pressed in, pressed in coil. I don't know if you can see that 316 stainless steel. Oh, stainless steel and now dual 0.25 ohms. That, that looks quite nice, actually. Stainless steel and all. And they have a cover over the contact to make sure that it doesn't short out. So what is the coil just sit across the bottom there? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. And it looks like these little tabs are what retains it in here. So if you wanted to get crafty like they did back in the old days. You might be able to pop this yeah, thing off. Push the tabs out. Pop it out. Yeah. <coughs> well, the way you look at it, they put it together, so it's got to come apart. Whether you break it or you don't break it, but it's still got to come apart. <laughs> but do you not think, like, sometimes sealed pods like that are quite more advantageous because they'll not leak. You know, like your normal pods where you stick your coil in, you'll get a bit of leakage over time, but them ones, I bet you don't get a drop leaking in there. She's a looker. Definitely. Preva DNA. DNA board, and it's got DNA board. 
fixed fixed coil. Wonder how much they're about to replace though. That's the thing. You now when your coil burns out. <coughs> Oh, spare one. Gave you a spare pod. And this one's different. Is it the same coil or a different coil? This one's 0 0.5 ohms. Still a stainless, yeah? No, oh, it's... No, it's KTR, Canthal. Canthal. Yeah. You can you can barely see it inside here. <coughs> yeah, I think that's the only flaw with some of these pods with like the st the smoked plastic. You can't see how much juice you've got in them either, can you? Bit of a bummer that one. There you go. You can barely see just... the coil. How are you going to see the blinging? Oh, look at it! It's, just... it's a proper little coil as well. It's just proper that's space cool. coil. That's so cool. And this one's a tiny stainless steel wrapped coil. That's so cool. It's an actual coil, not a daft little whatever, you know what I mean? It's an actual real coil, as us ravers would say. <laughs> <coughs> Cool you know, the nice thing about this one, they're different diameters. I know they're the same. The, wrong, the rubber bung fits in both of them equally. Yeah, all right. So you'd, you'd end up having a bunch of these spare 510s with these pods. The dirty looking things, eh? I mean, the nice looking things. Look, look, but like I say, I think with like the, you know, the dark plastic, it's hard to see how much liquid you've got, and you know what I mean? Well, I'm going to take and I'm going to use the 0.5 ohm coil. I'm going to put back the oh. um, stainless steel. Oh, I would have went for the stainless, me. Like the ramp up time be mint. Well, I want to get used to like, how it works because I don't see a display on it, right? So, like, what's the point? Just because it's a DNA chip, I'm supposed to go, oh, let me bow down to you. Hmm. There's a warranty card. Nice. It's a nice looking piece of kit, like. Looks nice. Micro USB port and all. Regu regulatory button. Fire button. I'm wondering if it'll be What's recognized it in the in the Evolve software. Hmm, possibly. But here we go. Power level. Low is yellow. Medium is green. Blue is high. That's purple. <laughs> plug in the charger. Probably get a cable. better idea. Probably get a better idea when you fire it. So the charging cable yes. says yellow. That's about harpy harpy in it. Yep. Thirty to seventy percent. Which would be about normal. Okay. <laughs> Please cool. fill with e liquid before vaping to avoid a dry burn. No kidding. Do not overfill. Eighty percent or lower would be better. Please inhale the cartridge a little bit to soak the coil before putting it into the battery. You mean the mod? Make sure lid is pushed back after filling. Well, yeah, so you have a sealed compartment. Otherwise it'll leak. Timeout protection. When you inhale continuously for over seven seconds, the indicator will flash 10 times and the device will stop working. Low voltage production for voltage battery voltage under 3.3 .3 volts. 
short circuit protection, resistance test. When the resistance at the output end is larger than 1.2 ohms, the indicator will light and flash four times in blue and red. When the resistance in the output end no, is lower true. than 0 0.1 ohms. Basically saying, fuck you, I ain't firing that. <laughs> yeah, the light will flash four times blue and red. I'm telling you it's too low. Or too Not high. Because it's the either. same thing for too high. Yeah. Mallory Gates has stated that a guy walks into the bar and asks for a whiskey. The bartender says single. The guy replies no, happily married, but curious. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Mallory's fantastic with this stuff. All right. I'm going to sat there and throw some of this uh, Keep It 100 blue in there. Keep it 100. Ooh. Blue raspberry oh. cotton candy. Oh, there's there's got to be mulberry in there, too. There's got to be. You said that was the secret ingredient, didn't you? That you couldn't quite put your finger on. Yeah, I've tried all different kinds of things to try and... So how much wiggins in it? You kind of, I mean, you're seeing, you're seeing the coil, but you couldn't really see the wiggin. So much wiggin in it. So, well, you've got wicking in the center chamber here. Yeah. And you've got this outer chamber that keeps the center one full. It's like a print print cartridge. Ah, right. Just um, you have three so chambers just, like, inside so, here. So. so as you use it, you keep this one in the middle full. And that's yeah. where the cotton comes through from your coil into the center into chamber. The so yeah. that is where your coil gets its wicking from. Now, airflow, I believe air is going to be like pulled in here way. and go into this chamber, you know, jetting the air down. And yeah, the, it's got to go down. I'm just wondering, is it a dual chamber inside there? I really want to take this thing apart, but I want to use it first. You know what I mean? Like, is there an outer, like chimneys are, yeah. they're insulated chimneys. You've got an outer one that's a larger diameter than an inner one. Well, so you could have air coming thing. down this yeah. side, yeah. go reach the bottom and then come up the middle. Yeah, yeah I, think, I, I think that's probably the way it's going to work. I love the smell of that. <laughs> See, is it going to be one, the one of them ones where you're going to have to tip it towards your mouth when you vape? So, because you with it with it with it being on one side, the um, the drip tip. You know what I mean? It's naturally to going it to be tipped that way. Yeah. Which only sucks because the button's on the top, so you're going to have to use this to put fire it. Tip it towards you. And it's just held in magnetically, that one magnet there. Seems to snap it in quickly, nice and sharp, like, doesn't it? It's not the strongest magnet on a lot of these pods I've done before that had the magnetic, you know, retention.
there's just no way of knowing, you know, if your coil's fully saturated or not. There's no way of testing for it or anything. So twenty-four point seven nine. Something else in there besides blue raspberry, cotton candy, and mulberry. The strawberry, cherry. I don't know, man. 7.46 in there. I don't know how some people can, you know, clone <laughs> recipes like that. You know, they just like, they taste it and they're like, oh yeah, that's got this and this and this and it's got that brand of this in there. And I'm like, yeah, no, you're like, eh? How, how do you, how can you tell? <laughs> I can taste stuff, but I can't like taste more than three or four things before it's like, it was like, you just, like, you know. Yeah, it's like these chefs, you know, these chefs with the big the palate that can taste it with anything, you know what I mean? You're like, how is this done? You know what I mean? How do you, you do put that? Coriander in that, didn't you? And I'm like, the fuck is coriander? I don't even know what it tastes like. <laughs> you put weed in the soup, didn't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. You have cannabis. <laughs> you have cannabis in your liverwurst. What? <laughs> A Hell ingredient. Yeah. It helps it to you know. <laughs> well, that one could could you relate to that one? Where's it gone? There you are. You know when you're getting old, when your wife says, "Honey, let's run upstairs and make love." A new answer. I can't do both. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I can meet you upstairs okay. in 10 Absolutely. minutes and then do that, but. Yeah. <laughs> Take us 10 minutes to get up the stairs if you, if you want us to conserve energy. <laughs> Happy days. Oh, that's a, see, you can't even see your level, can you? It's, it's that dark. You yeah, know I had that complaint with a lot of stuff lately. I mean, that was my one complaint with um, Small Aunt with theirs. You know, they fixed everything wrong with it, but it, they still such a smoky thing. There's no way to tell how much e-liquid's in this thing. Yeah, well, I'm just make it clear and be done with it. It still work. I mean... That's a beautiful Fruit Loops in there. I can't believe she hasn't swiped this off my desk. <laughs> Give it time. It's because of the Fruit Loops. She doesn't like Fruit Loops. Even as a cereal, she doesn't care for it. She'll eat it if that's all there is, but... That's probably why you now it's still sitting at your desk, because I'm not a fan of that. You can have that one. Yeah, just give me the shite. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's go to our recipe reviews while we're waiting for that coil to saturate. Mm. Good old Limp Biscuit. Banana custard and cookies. That's the one right here that I've gotten my other arbiter. Now, the th odd thing about this one is this has got like that, you know how custard when it's not fully ripened has kind of like that slightly bitter yes. vanilla-y flavor? Yes. That's yes. what this is still like. Now, oh. that was February 27th, so it's been a full month since we developed this. So I should be able to fairly judge it now. And that still imparts that that aspect of custard I don't like. Now, I could mask it with some more sweetness in there, but that's not the purpose of DIYing. DIYing, you want to make 
be able to cut your flavorings down to what absolutely needs to be in there. You don't want to mask it with sweetness. You know, throw some super sweet in there and I can cover it up. But considering yeah, this has no super sweet in it, well, no, it does have some, half a percent. So it should be able to taste the final product with that half a percent. As a commercial ingredient or commercial recipe, I'm sure that's probably two or three percent super sweet in there. Kill your coils just as quick too. But I'm not getting into the, the pudding aspect to it. That custard and that whole dap mouth feel is over prominent in this recipe. And I don't know about this banana nut bread. I need to single flavor test that. So I better recognize it by itself. Same with the banana cream from TPA. When I single flavor tested that one, that one was giving me too much of a dap experience. That cakey kind of mouth feel. Yeah. For me, this is like a three, three and a half. Don't care for it. Yeah. However, it's in stark contrast with this one, Miyagi's Banana Cream. That one has a little bit, a, a slightly dappy experience, but I truly get the banana. I get the Bavarian cream and I get the beautiful creamy mouthfeel with the hint of vanilla. Just the way that the recipe is. It's freaking delicious. I plowed through that in what, three days? That's all that's left. Holy moly. <laughs> and that was made on episode seven. So it's just been over a month. So Jesus. I rate this one another five star recipe from Miyagi. Matter of fact, Definitely. that's what I'm exactly what I'm going to do right now. Don't some really good stuff. Seven point five. I just have a quick. I've just done the maths. I've got enough of that to make a thirty mil bottle. Awesome. I am quite good on this ELR. I'm fucking I'm getting the hang of this, like. Four by one, seven percent, page it out. Oh, that just looks so good. Look at it, man. Go to the original recipe and leave him another comment. Comment added. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I am going to finish plowing through this. Mm, sorry, sorry. Leave a comment on there, but just not my cup of tea. 
I know some people no really love you, it, eh? though. Apathy Miller says, also, work, also works well with uh, OOO or uh, Flavora Vanilla Pudding. No, Kemo, he doesn't have Kemenovatic Vanilla Pudding. Without it, uh, I don't think it would taste as good. Gotcha, motherfucker. Mm. Now it is. I went to get something. I forgot to get it. What'd you forget? What'd you forget, me? Kitchen roll. My kitchen roll. Give us a second here. Go, damn it. That's hard to believe. She's already green. I've charged already. We're already above 70%. Well, that's not bad then. Ugh. Cannot grumble without me, Eddie. I've been on a few minutes. Is it auto draw activated? Oh, good question. Nope, but that is a beautiful nope. OG blue. Gotta fire the fire button. One thing I don't like about that martini is giving me the hiccups. Hiccups. Is it all right, though? Yeah. It's probably, like you said, something you would have with a meal rather than a, a session. Ooh, is that throaty? Really? I'm not getting a lot of sweetness from it. I remembered OG Blue as being sweeter than this. Really? There's nothing, it's not bad or anything. It's just. It's not like the cotton candy I remember. Yeah. But the device itself is gorgeous. I mean, it does the job. I'd been able to quit with this. The flavor's not as good as the modern pod, though. No, I wonder what it did. Uh, I forgot to check how long ago it was out. Let's look it up. Preva. $20. 
2019. 19? That's not that old, is it? Yeah. October of 2019. Wow. I like the restriction that's on here. It's just the right amount for you to be able to do a direct to lung comfortably. A bit disappointing though, yeah? Flavor wise, yes. For a 0.5 ohm coil, round wire. I've had better taste off of just straight round wire. But then again, I'm not using Canthal round wire. Because Canthal has never been flavorful as, as stainless steel. Nah. Canthal's very old school. And if you got a nickel allergy, you don't have a choice. Canthal's your only option. Is that like? Nichrome is so much more flavorful than Canthal. I mean, stainless steel is an option for you if you've got a nickel allergy, depending on how sensitive you are and how good the stainless steel is. 316 is pretty good grade. Like, you know, if it is 316, obviously. Yeah. I mean... That looks cool. It looks cool. It's got just the right amount of hand weight to it. But the Smoant one that I did a review on. Mm. Needs a charge. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Well, already. <laughs> Bit of a sick man. This one, not the Wismic one. And that was my complaint about it. It doesn't work when it's charging. Ah. Uh. That's odd. See. The drip tip's really comfortable on this. I like that slight taper that's in there. Thirty ml, yeah, I know that. Twenty-three seventy. Ba 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 ba. Max BG. You building a little recipe there, mate? I'm just having a bit play about with this. Uh... Ah, I don't want to do that. I'm a bit play about on this. I just, uh, you know, you know, you know. Let me see. You know. Let's check it. Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hey, I've got exactly seven seven point five grams of juice in there. So I've got 30 ml, 3 milligram, 70 30. That's the secret sauce strength. It is 100% that. I put that in at 25%, which comes out at roughly exactly what's in, 7.5%. And, and that's kind of what I've got. 
Seven and a half grams. Twenty-five yeah. percent. Yeah, that's exactly what's in that bottle when I've worked it out. Seven point five wait, seven point four nine. I'm looking at you know not a hundredth of a gram, you know, but no, no, that's gonna yeah. be perfect. You could mix that right up in the bottle that the uh, flavor comes in. That's that's what I've been doing, mate. Nice. <laughs> it doesn't quite look like 30 ml there. I think I've got to put a bit more VG in there, like, but you know. <laughs> yeah, you need what 25 and that's a half. A six. Yeah, that's that's a 60 bottle in it, so it's got to be. At so least when you're all full. done, you'll have half a bottle of e liquid. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Not just a pretty face, Mandy. Yeah. I'm going to have to change the social media on the so it doesn't cover up your face. That pop up. Oh. Move it to. Uh, I have a left one. I'll do that now. There's no reason I can't do that now. Turn that off. And. Got what is that? It's a browser source. Just goes to show people when you're like me. There you go. Half a bottle. Waste not, what not, as they say, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. That I'm and lo I'm existing. I would love them to send us some more of that out. That is dynamite. That now with this one, I've probably got a bit more. I could probably make a bigger bottle with that one. Lemon cheesecake. There you go, matey. I fixed our scene. Hey, hallelujah. We're both on. I suppose mine should be a bit more square, I suppose, but never mind. You know, I'm not going to quibble with that. But yeah, there you go, my buddy lad. A bit of e ELR there. What can I say? Eh? <laughs> Love it, man. Love it. <laughs> 30 men that, that you know what it is that'll not even last a day that that'll be gone and put off a day of that <laughs> straight down you Get love out. that macca's apple pie oh what it's amazing stuff man amazing amazing stuff i've just done like i said before i found like all of these, man, what you, what you sent us like last time. I mean, look at all them. There's there's a single shot there. There's another bottle. Well, I, I've had a little bit of cookies and cream. I had a taste of that one. <laughs> a little bit. God. Oh, vanilla swirl. Oh, I bet that's nice. Toast. Toast. Fucking toast. <laughs> yep. We're going to hide on there. Some jam. <laughs> exactly. Bit of jam strawberry on jam. He actually has a one shot. I yeah. think it's a strawberry uh, jam and toast. I, I think he did. I. I've got a bourbon flavor. I've got a Graham's crackers flavor. Oh, God. There she is. Flavors. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I've got a flavors butterscotch. I've got a flavors. What's what flavor is dragon fruit? Dragon fruit. What, I wonder what yep. that is. What's the profile on that? Dragon fruit. It's used as an accentuator flavor in a lot of fruit recipes. <laughs> ah. Honeycomb, five flavors. Mm. Interesting. I just totally forgot, like I said, I've been like come a little bit to clear out and I'm thinking, jeez, I forgot, I forgot I had all this shit. But it Get works. Get mixed up, man. It works, Get man. Get it mixed up. You make your Get own, mixed up, you make it exactly how you want, how strong you want it, how potent you want it. 
If there's certain flavorings you don't like, you just leave them out of it. As time goes on, you get better and better at what you like and what you don't like, and you know how much to put in. It's not an overnight deal, but neither was vaping. Oh, hell no. I mean, Christ, that took time to get used to it anyway. I, it took me a while from when I started. first went out and bought that Atlantis kit and failed with it to learn more, watch the streams, watch what everybody was doing, look at the flavor profiles that people select and pick and talk about and go, okay, now that I'm going to get an order a kit, I ordered that Bigfoot murder kit and I ordered three flavors that I'm like, okay, let's find flavors that I like that I may not eat all the time, but I wouldn't mind experiencing that flavor all the time. And yeah. candy cane was what did it for me. I'm like, I have that around Christmas time. I really love it at Christmas, but I can't do it all the time. Let me try it in a vape and see what it's like. And that's what did it for me. Yeah, it's, it's, you've, you've got to find your niche, I suppose, aren't you? Where you're all, you know? I mean, for me, it's mainly custards and bakeries and sweet. I like desserts. That's my primary one. And the like thing about this candy then, cane but... was it wasn't just like a, a starlight mint that you would have for Christmas. It wasn't just a peppermint. There was some chocolate in there as well. Yeah, it was nice. And that combination was just like, that was my instant all day vape. I loved it. That's what it is. But it, the thing is, though, sometimes, like, you know, in the early days, you find something you like, you kind of stick with it, don't you? And you stick with it, and you stick with it, because you, you stick with what you know, don't you? Yeah, that was my thing with the grape. And for the longest time, that was what my all day vape was. And I didn't I, I didn't want to try anything else. And then I started trying other stuff. Nah. And once I came across this OG Blue, I was like, bye bye, grape. <laughs> That's. Yeah, and I've tried mind. to go back to grape a couple times, but it's just like, no, nah, I've, I've had my fair share of grape for the rest of my life. It, it, it depends. It's a, it's a difficult one because there's that many varieties of it. You know what I mean? Some are good, some aren't so good. And then obviously when some put the coolant in it and all that, and there's too much in, or it's just, just it's a minefield with us. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely loving this custard. Oof, that flavor just pops on your tongue, but I just can't get over that dap coating in my mouth. It's just like. Like that buttery. Uh, it might need oily. a tongue of sword. It might need a tongue of sword to gun through. But just like, you know, it might need a tongue or two to get break it in or whatever, you know, especially canthal. Mate, three more tanks and this bottle's gone. And I'll be glad when it's yeah. gone. I will mix up another one of these Myogi's banana cream pie. I will mix up another one of these and sit it on the shelf when I'm in, you know, the mood for that banana again. Yeah. But actually, you Thanks know what? Springtime's right around the corner. I think it's time for me to um, mix up more of that Hunky's Hawaiian Punch. <laughs> I thought that was coming like <laughs> Yes, and I'm it going to nice try and substitute beer. out some of the pineapples and and like the orange just to see if I can make it any better than what it is. And I will reach out okay. to Darren and say, listen, mate, I need a refill on pineapple and orange. Those two I'm definitely out of. Yeah. I but that recipe, while, like, I'm right. telling you. I would love to sell that as a one shot. Ooh, what? Yeah. I honestly think if, if, I, well, if that was sold, I don't think there'd be too many people that wouldn't like that. It might not be their all day vape, but I don't think anybody would dislike it. I enjoyed it. It's I'm so a, yeah, juicy. I'm a, I'm a, That's the part I yeah, couldn't I'm get over. Man. Even as an all-day vape, every yep. time I picked my vape up, it was that juicy, wet mouthfeel that just... Even if you just got done eating, you you would start salivating again. Yeah. What the fuck's that? Yes, um, Vaping Bic, his time is still off. But I don't change it because next week it'll be back on. It'll be correct. Interesting though, the stream is ten minutes behind us. Really? 
He said, isn't vaping oh, heat's fresh. time 707, not 807? And our clock actually shows us at 817. Yeah. We're still an hour out. Well, that was what time hasn't happened yet. This coming weekend, the 30th, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So next week, we will be back on our normal schedule. Start at 5 p.m. European time, Greenwich Mean Time, British Summer Time. British Summer Time. God, I can't wait for the summer. Oh. See, that well, winter hasn't been that bad, really. It's just been wet. Just raining. Near I'm storm, looking forward, very few frosts. I'm looking forward to the summer weather because now I get to turn the air conditioning on and open the vents in my room. <laughs> These two bloody computers put out so much heat. In the wintertime, it gets to be like 75 degrees Fahrenheit in here. Really? Jeez. Wow. What, what would that be in metric? Uh, 16, 15 Celsius? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Oh, I'm just double chatting that chat. Yeah, we're there now. I've just refreshed for chat. Like, we seem to have caught up a bit. Uh, sorry, the stream. Caught up a bit. I think just fucking YouTube, man, being assholes, as always. Uh, they only got 15 viewers. We can, you know, put them lowest on the priority list. Yeah. Slow, slow the buffer down a little bit. Make some room. They can yeah. take the old CPUs we got in the old server room. Get the fucking bandwidth dropped on them. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Throttle them down. Throttle the fuckers yeah. down. You know, despite the camera glitches that we've had inside here, OBS says that we've dropped zero frames this entire stream. Which is all right. That's good, that. CPU Brilliant. usage is hovering at 1%. 1 1.2%, 1 I think, is the highest I saw it get. We're doing something right. My, my stats on my end, my CP usage is 0.78%. That's <laughs> not even a 1%. Yeah, because it's just camera and OBS and your web browser. I've got all the effects and no stuff running over frames. here. It's only got frames missed due to rendering lag. It's 15 out of fucking... 426,550. And that all happened when you first turned OBS on while it was starting up. Yeah. Wow. That happens here, too. I don't know. Yeah, we're, doing, we're doing all right. Like I see, stats wise, it's really good. Bloomberg. Yep. <laughs> Where's my cash? Where's my cash? Where's my cash, Mr. Bloomberg? Sorry, right. no cash for awesome. you, but we do have some random recipes. So let's roll that bumper and uh, make some, some beautiful Ooh, recipes. Oh, recipe time. ELR, what can we make? What can we make? Sherlock Holmes, get to work. Let's find out what you can provide us as a viable recipe for today. I'm 
Man, am I glad I have the window open in the in the studio today. It is so warm. <laughs> it's just hot in that place of yours, eh? Oh, unbelievably hot. That's not My good. coconut. Mm, coconut and Madagascar bourbon vanilla. From Ooh. Miss Faye. Interesting. And I can make this. Really? Two ingredient banger. Is all? Yes, sir. Two ingredients, all she takes. We're going to pound this That's one out. Cool, I'm, I'm really interested in this. That is right up my alley, flavor profile wise. Definitely, like you're saying, a nice juice with minimum flavors. What more can you ask for? Yeah. All right. Let's adapt this. We'll make 10 mils. That's good. We'll make it as a six. Uh, I am going to add a little super sweet. Half a percent should be more than adequate. Save that sucker. And here's the recipe just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom, man. One advantage to me uh, redoing the scenes and stuff and redoing yeah. these microphones is now I swapped out the arm for the overhead camera right here. Uh -huh. So it's higher and has way more flexibility and mobility, which is really going to come in handy when we do the work on the lathe over there. Ah, yes. Because you'll have like a camera view right over my shoulder. Like if you were standing over cool. my shoulder looking down going, well, what are you doing over there? Yeah, what are you doing in there? What are you doing out there? And I got myself another Elgato face cam to put over there. That's going to be awesome. Another one. I'll go on that computer. I mean, it does a good job right here. Here's our lovely flavors for today. Madagascar bourbon vanilla and DX coconut, diacetyl removed coconut. So it kills two birds with one stone for me because no diacetyl in there. So that dap sensation on my tongue won't have it. Good, good, good. Caps. Nipples. I beg your pardon. <laughs> and a baby bottle to suck it all down with. Look at this. I've just had enough of that lemon cheese. Oh, but that lemon cheesecake I had left has made a hundred mils, which is there. <laughs> hey, nice. So I've got cheesecake and maca apple pie, 130 ml of juice. I've got two bottles with dregs in. That's so cool. I'm well pleased with that. Hot diggity, what do I need here for the recipe? Let's take a look at the recipe real quick. I'm well pleased with that. 0.67 grams of coconut.
When are you going to test them big skills? And that's the question. <laughs> are, you going to, are you going to make a liter of a wine punch for the summer? <laughs> you know what, man? If I'm not, if I'm not really enough. good at making coils, I could set up a DIY station over behind me. I set my vortex mixer up. I've got the hot plate. I've got the freaking thing. I can, we can make all kinds of stuff. Yeah, man. Ah, I think you'd be all right with the coils. I think they'll suss it, man. It pretty much does it for you. It's it just, it, it's like we're showing you that design you said. If it, was, if it wasn't like a plastic, it was more of a steel part, it would have been a bit better. Yeah. Keep the tension. Whoa! Have you ever eaten a raw coconut meat? Oh, yes. Love them. You pound the freaking hard shell off of it, bust it yeah. open, and just eat that? That's exactly what that coconut flavoring tastes like. The dry really? mouthfeel wow. and all. Wow! Oh, folks, I'm in heaven. Madagascar bourbon vanilla flavor. That sounds quite nice, actually. You ever bought some real bourbon, I mean, um, vanilla extract? Um, well, instead of the uh, imitation humble. vanilla extract, this tastes like the real stuff, not the imitation vanilla. Uh, it's more than just that simple vanilla flavor. It's so complex and woody and sweet and like aromatic a, and more like a, like a vanilla pod rather than a yes. Like if you had a real vanilla pod and you scraped the beans off yeah. of the vanilla pod, That's the, right, the yeah. smell of those vanilla beans. <sighs> That's what this tastes that like or smells nice. like. Oh. A little secret sauce. Like you said. And like you said, sometimes the simplest of recipes are normally the good, the best, you know what I mean? Simple ingredients, simple stuff, and wow. <laughs> hey, the next bout of the syringe, guys, he's got he's got experience. Get in there. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. Now we need ourselves some PG. One point four grams. Wife and I have been watching a new show. It's called The Resident. It's okay. about a, a hospital in Atlanta, Georgia, and the residents oh. that work there, and a couple surgeons with their ego trips and all. I can't believe how realistic they are with a lot of the things that they did in the show. They're getting like that. We, I mean, we used to watch. Um, what was it called? But it was always blasphemy to let the let the public know that most hospitals are all about the money, and they treat you different based on what insurance you have. Oh God! You know I... what I mean? They don't want that information getting out there. You got gold, platinum insurance or whatever that's going to pay for every test imaginable. They're going to give you every test imaginable. To make a hundred percent sure no, no. that their diagnosis is exactly right on. 
But if you're poor, they're still going to give you whatever test that you have to have for them to prove their diagnosis. And yeah. realistically, you're not going to be able to afford it. <coughs> Probably not. You get a $30,000 bill for up. one ER visit. I'll tell you what, I've just seen the trailer for and I can't wait for it. What's that, mate? Beetlejuice 2, the trailer's out. Yeah. Oh my God, I cannot wait for that. It, it's Michael Keaton's playing him again. Same characters. Awesome. Cannot wait for that. What's that one with the personalities in the brain? Inside Out or something? Inside Out 2, yeah. That's coming out yeah, soon. Yeah, Inside well. Out 2's coming. For that. Yeah, oh, I can't wait for that. Like, I think Kung Fu Panda 4's just been released over here. Like, So that's that's pretty hilarious. Jack Black is the voice. Skidoo. Skidoosh. Skidoosh. <laughs> Skidoosh. Whatever it is the word you see is Skidoosh. Right, right. I have two movies I'm looking forward to watching. There you have it. Do you think it'll be a shake and vape though? With a vanilla in? Mm. I should be able to get a general idea of it. With just coconut and vanilla. Vanilla might be a little too astringent. If it's like the seed, it might be a bit bitter. Yeah. If it's that kind of like flavor profile. But the amount that I get out of bitterness from a vanilla, well, it depends on the vanilla flavoring. Like vanilla swirl yeah. is one that it doesn't give you that super vanilla, super bitter aspect. Because it's more like an icing or a frosting that's got yeah. vanilla in it. Okay, I want to make sure I still have my printer on. I moved it to make room for the mixer on my other table. But it's time to make a label. Haha, <laughs> the magic label machine. Got all the gadgets for you guys. Ooh. You want to talk about dab bucket. flavoring? Movie mm. theater popcorn. That gives you that dab mouth feel. Oh. Yeah. My I do coconut. like the salt of popcorn. I like hun I like the the honey popcorn, me the honey caramelized, the toffee popcorn. I don't like the solid popcorn. Yeah. I made 10 mils of this. Salt and popcorn tastes like bringing cotton, cotton balls. Oh. Uh -oh. Tell you what I got done. I need to put a smaller label in. This is getting ridiculous, redonkulous. Uh, where are you? I think that's He's it. raining pretty good out now. And hell is like the lakes of freedom rise. True fight for the fight for our rights again. And hell is like the lakes of Ah. <laughs> yes, sir. That is me completed. That is me completed song. And hell is like the that's me, me and the establishment. Me and so. That's the thing. They on babe strong. Surrender to your false cries A community united 
in our quest for truth. Which is there on flesh on the power of the truth. Whoa, that is so that good. Yes. Oh, God. I love it. Little bridge there in the middle. <laughs> All the eyes there. What can I see? There you go. I love it. What I do you love reckon? it, mate. <laughs> that is the completed song where I had, I had like verses in and that, and I kind of edited it to blend it in a bit so it sounds continuous and then that's it. Just got to drop a video on it now. I looked into that stuff. Well, I was going to do the AI stuff, but I just haven't had a chance with all this other stuff going on. Matter of fact, I sold my uh, original DJ setup that I built myself. It's like a podium. I built it out yeah. of plywood and carpeted it, you know, with speaker carpet and all. And um, it's got a slanted mixer on the top. It's got a rack for DMX light control panel on the front. And yeah. I built a server rack for the computer and it sits on a shelf underneath there and inter internally there was four four terabyte hard drives filled with music they're wow. <laughs> mirrored so if one hard drive fails the system keeps running in the bottom of it i put a 1500 amp hour battery backup so if somebody like accidentally unplugged your power cord the computer wouldn't shut down it would run. still keep playing music and um there's a 3000 watt amp inside oh, boy, it. Boy. hell yeah <laughs> that's what you're talking about man so i sold that thing so it's time for me to go and revisit it one last time clear out my personal windows account off of it and um you would have finally a let that go like, goodbye I mean, you would have a field deal with it, honestly in the eye if you just like with your creativity, you would have an absolute feel day with that. You'd be like, yes. I, I did I did I mean, play just, around for about an hour. And there's AI websites you can go to that'll create your lyrics. Yeah. Yeah, so I printed up a couple of them, hey, but hey. none of them were as good as the lyrics you had on yours. <laughs> I used um Chat GP, chat, chat GPT, free version for the lyrics. Copy paste them, drop them into the software. The only thing with that soon would only do is like one verse at a time, just about thirty seconds at a time. So you've got to drop one in, do it, then kind of delete it, then drop the new ones in, do it, then get rid of them and drop them in again, and then obviously you tie them all together when it's when it's said uh, produce them. It's quite good. The only downside it only produces about like 30 seconds, sometimes a minute. Yeah, but I would have a field day with that because I could literally create the loops that would be used for the accompaniment, for the drums, for the individual instruments, and I could have it exported not as an audible WAV file, but as a MIDI file that I could use to use on any instrument whatsoever. Yeah, I mean... You can still mix and, and fudge it on. You can get the basics done at the eye, but you can still put it in, like, you know, whatever you use for your mixing. I mean, I've used... Um, I use Persona Studio like One for my audio stuff. I use, like, BandLab for a while, you know what I mean? I think a BandLab, but yeah, not I the, did too. Even at the desktop version. But they got bought out by somebody. That. Yeah. Uh, where are you? I've got a, another. Where are we? Bookmarks. Get oh, out. Oh, God. That's so you good. are. 
But the thing is, right where are you? If you go, let's have a look here. Holy shit, mate. All right, Emma. If this vapes as good as it tastes on the knuckle, I might have a new all-day vape here. Uh, check you out. Come on. I mean, Needs a battery. Mean. She's not going to work without a battery. I mean... I mean, I did do. Where's Where that country version that you did? I've done. Hang on. Where is it? Is it this one? This is just a show. In this modern age, we found a new sensation. The trend that's spreading through the nation. It's vaping, baby, and it's catching fire. A way to satisfy our desires. Today. <laughs> the old fancy. Version. No, you were the one that with the two old guys sitting on the porch. Remember that country version you did with the two old guys yeah, vapor sitting on the two old vape advocates sitting on the porch. Uh, old time vapors. Hang on, was it that one? Uh, that one. That was a banjo one. <laughs> Old pals sitting on the bench with their canes okay, and their tails, their tails got a wrench. They puff away clouds in the air, talking about fakes with a lot of flair. They they puff and blow at the cake clouds wherever they go. Little smiles and twinkling eyes, they hear the bait that put the kids in skies. <laughs> I think I've got a full summer with this one. Once as bad in my day we smoke cigars. But they means the future reaching for the stars. The other nods puffing on his mind saying it's true. It's like lightning in a bottle. Odd. They reminisce about the good old times, but embrace the new with open minds. With fake pens and flavors galore, their spread and joy not settling scores. Why the old man doing that? They, they puff and blow, advocate and blast wherever they go. With wrinkled smiles and twinkling eyes, they're the pay they but can get skies. Be advocates in disguise. I love it, mate. <laughs> Hey. Two old pals sitting on a bench with their canes and their towels. They've got That's a wrench. A rough they puff away clouds in the air, talking about vapes with a lot of flair. They they puff and blow, advocating clouds wherever they go. Wherever they with go. wrinkled with smiles and smile twinkling and eyes. eyes, they're the vape they're advocates in disguise. disguise. One says, "Back in my day, we smoked <laughs> cigars, but they think the future reaches for the stars." The other night. Honestly, the amount of the, just the diversions you can make is unbelievable, man. Oh, that's, that's what have I got there? Have I got a dance? I've got a dance version Shows as over well. Me. I think. Hold on. Honestly, mad. There's loads, man. Isn't it? It's, it's just what you can do with it. <laughs> the flavor profile on this is right on point. Coconut up front, 
you get a back aspect, a lingering flavor and scent of vanilla. Mm. It just needs sweetness. Ah. Matter of fact, if you were to take and add a little double chocolate to this, bump up the sweetness to like 1%, maybe 1.5%, it would taste just like an Almond Joy. Very good. You get that candy that's coconut. That's straight off the mix. And that's straight that's on the Straight shape. off the bat now. Wow. So that's a good. See what I mean? Simple recipes that worked, didn't they? Cut of ingredients, nothing complicated. It's just bang. We'll see how the coconut settles into this recipe. 6.6% .6 of it is in there right now. So it is the forefront dominant note in the, in the recipe. Will be, yeah. If it settles down, it'll be perfect. If not, then I'd cut it back to like 5%. I'd add a little double chocolate in there, like 2%. To give you that chocolatey coconut flavor, like a piece of candy, jump, bump up the sweetness on it. And that Madagascar bur bourbon vanilla is just delicious. If anything, you could add like half a percent or 1% of vanilla swirl. And you get that beautiful full bodied vanilla flavoring with some frosting of the sweetness. Oh. See, we call it, we've got like a, 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 a candy bar called a bounty, which is basically sweet coconut wrapped in chocolate. That would be. That's but it's very right sweet. Maybe this it's a isn't bit, sweet right like now because that, it's only got half a percent of super sweet. You bump that super sweet up to one, one and a half percent, you yeah. get that candied coconut flavor. And then your chocolate as well. Oh, that would be amazing. And then lingering chocolate oh. with double chocolate. Oh, hell yeah. And you That's could accentuate the double bar. chocolate with some Mullenberry's uh, chocolate, glamour chocolate. Oh, man. You talk my language now. Oh. I mean, hold on. Let's have a look. A bounty. We call it a bounty. Right? Come on. This is, I mean, you probably got something similar. I mean, Chris, they're not, that's them, a bounty bar. It's that sweet coconut just wrapped in chocolate. See there? That's where it's just sweet chocolate. For us, in. that would be mounds. Mounds. We call it the bounty bar. Absolutely delightful, isn't it? Oh, and I love them. I absolutely love bounty bars. Oh, love coconut. Absolutely love it. Ah, mounds. Sim See, they yeah. use dark chocolate exactly here for that. mounds. Yeah. I suppose you I think almond we joy. Did have a, almond we joy did uses have milk chocolate them, and an almond. Yeah. Yeah. I think we did have like a special version where it used dark chocolate, but it was just like a limited edition thing. But yeah, that's it. Oh, you've got a little nut on it now. Oh, lovely. That's my cup of tea right there, man. I, I could eat that shit for fun, me. I love bounty bars. Oh, coconut. Mm. I've always had, when I was a kid, you know, when we used to sprinkle desiccated coconut on cakes. I used to eat the coconut off the top and leave the cake. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want the cake. It was like this ice and with coconut on it. Just got uh, top off, leave the cake. Oh, love coconut. Sweet desiccated coconut. Kind of gone wrong. Yeah, you definitely need to anything. add something else in here. You need to put some like vanilla swirl or something in here to change the mouthfeel. Because right now the mouthfeel on this one is very dry. Which is fine yeah. for coconut. But you add some milk chocolate in there, get some double chocolate, some glamour <coughs> chocolate in there, and put a little um, vanilla swirl. It'd be just like that candy well, bar. It's like, I mean, you get that mouth mean, watering. You know, your, your, candy bar, your candy bar is like a processed coconut, the valid sweetening and all that shit. But a, a, a raw coconut, the actual coconut is a dry, it's dry to eat. But That's what this is. Nice. Yeah. And I'm waiting What's for that Madagascar vanilla to really, really surface in here. 
I, got, I should have made a bigger bottle than 10. I didn't think I was going to like it that much, but. <laughs> you see, you never know. You just never know, do you? You don't. You have no clue. Sometimes you mix things up and it's like, oh, no, I don't. It's not bad. It's just not me. This yeah. hit a chord with me. It just like it sang. But you see, you've got the groundwork. So now you've had a thought, well, I can put a bit of that in, put a bit of that in. So maybe on your next, make another batch of it and add them and then just see where you are. And then once you've got that, then you just go for it and make the bottle, didn't you? Boom. I'll have some of that. <laughs> Goes with your vodka now. <laughs> Vanilla Goes coffee. with that coffee yeah. martini beautifully. <laughs> Whoa. And the alcohol just woke up that vanilla. Yeah. Alcohol and vanilla, man. Two of my favorite combinations. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm done, dude. We're done. It's a four-hour stream today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> See, guys, you can tell when there's a juicy legs, he just sits back in the chair and just enjoys it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> that good. Yeah, because wow. that coffee martini brightens up the whole palate. Cleanses the dap off of my palate from the previous thing, the the limp biscuit thingy. Yeah, I cleaned my palate off, and now I could fully, fully accept all the flavor profile of this on my receptors on my tongue. And it's just hitting the right note. <laughs> I know that's not matchy matchy blue and gold. Who cares? Gold, <laughs> I don't care, man. It tastes fantastic. It's freaking delicious. On a shake. You, I'm, more, I'm more worried about the flavor and how it looks. Trust us. <laughs> That's your priority, isn't it? Wow. I'm not kidding, man. We're done. Sorry, folks. Four-hour stream today. <laughs> I'm going to mix up a 60 ml bottle of this and I'm going to add some double chocolate in there and <laughs> vanilla See, swirl. The, the cogs are turning. The cogs are turning. This the is a beautiful base. This tastes like the center of that candy bar. The center of that candy bar right um, there. Wow. That's my cup of tea. That now, like, that'd be right up my alley. Like, you can put that one on my Christmas shopping list, mate. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus. I'll send you, you a bag of all enjoyment. Like I'll send you, you a think share you bag. Of like that? She, I think she might. Yeah, bud. Think she would like that one? I'll send you a bag like this in your box next time. Yeah, man. Nice. Milk chocolate, like single almond, covered in a candied coconut. Trust us, nobody will get their hands on them. Nobody. <laughs> they will be well stashed. I've never Definitely. vaped coconut before. I've never vaped it. No, not like I, this. I <laughs> they get That's it right awesome. to the profile you know when you peel that coconut out of that hard shell and it's got that brown skin that's still on the coconut you can taste yeah. it in here it's not just coconut really it's got the whole nut as well so to speak yeah the nutty aspect of that coconut is in here it's not just a candied coconut Damn. Good one. Nice recipe there. Whoever, who was it again that did it? Nice one to you. Holy moly. 
Miss Faye. Thank you, Miss Faye. You well, just made you. my day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So simple, too. Two of them. What are the recipes you got? Fruit, fancy, cantaloupe, peach, strawberry, and tutti frutti. I don't have that. Not TPA. Wow, I've got juicy peach from TPA. I don't have regular peach. I have Flora's oh, nice melon, which is like cantaloupe. I don't know about this tutti frutti. Exotic peach. Oh. Ooh. Coconut and all. Coconut as well. Oh, co Ooh, that'd be lovely. Then she just added peach to that. Oh. Vanilla strawberry. She's really into this Madagascar bourbon vanilla. Yeah, you, you can see that that Madagascar is in every one. It's just strawberry and Madagascar bourbon vanilla. Oh. Wow. I might have to try that. Yeah. This is why I love DIY liquids. The flavor combinations are infinite. And when you find something that tickles your fancy, it's just like that's all you want to go do the rest of the day. What can I do with yeah, this? Like How can I was... bend it? With, with minimum ingredients as well, like like two ingredient recipes and the bangers. You know what I mean? They're absolutely out of this world. Wow! And the more you vape it, the more complex the flavor becomes. It just, I love it. I just, I love it. <laughs> wow! Wow! My coconut is my coconut. How simple. DX. What's that DX? What's that DX? Diacetyl DX removed. DBA. DX. Oh, it's gone. Ah, There's the original formulation better, with coconut, and then you have the diacetyl removed. So diacetyl oh, X'd yeah. out. That's cool. That. That's good. Which is really weird because some of the diacetyl, the DX flavors suck you need that diacetyl yeah. in there to make the flavor what it truly could be potential wise mm. and then other ones like this diacetyl removed coconut it's bright bang on it that's perfect you don't need diacetyl in there would the diacetyl <laughs> reduce the the dry mouth feel i have right now no question about it mm. but i can i could put in there vanilla swirl that's also diacetyl free, and that'll give me the mouthfeel with a little bit extra super sweet. I don't need it. I don't need the don't diacetyl. Do yeah. Again, chocolate as well. That's going to add sweetness. So, yes, and a wet mouthfeel. Yeah. As long as you don't overdo the wow. chocolate. When you overdo the chocolate and don't no. give it enough sweetness, it becomes chalky. Yeah. But oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> You're a happy bunny there. And I'm not kidding, I'm done. My wish is always peace, love, and a hunky vape to end cigarette combustion. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Sorry, it's only a four hour show today, but I'm gonna go enjoy He's this coconut bunny. and I'm gonna go play. <laughs> I know what you're doing. PS5 and coconut. Yes, I know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to mix me up a, a 60 mil bottle of this and put some double chocolate in there, put some vanilla swirl in there, and I'm going to go play on the PS5. Ghost Recon Wildland. Here I come. <laughs> awesome, mate. Good, good, good. But yeah, boys and girls, thank you, everybody, as always, for joining us in chat. Absolutely make the show. Um, and just remember, you know what I mean? Like I say, all you guys in the UK, you know, everybody seems to have got a bit, everybody seems to have got a bit quiet, you know, with the, the old uproar with the taxation and all that, you know, there doesn't seem to be anybody mentioned anymore. So, you know, keep, keep plugging away, keep shouting about it, keep making your voices heard, write your local MPs, all that lardy da, fill in whatever you can, show your support for it. 
but as always uh, again thank you very much um obviously hunky's very happy with the, what he's found today so he's just going to chill oh, out yeah. so, <laughs> so <laughs> again also, also yes thank alex for putting up with us as always and again till we see you same time we should all be the same time same place next week because our clock should have all sorted ourselves out we should be in official english summer time thank god i cannot wait um but until then guys you all stay safe be up safe and we'll see you all very soon take care now Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next week again for a fresh round.